Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of Black on Black Cinema. I'm your host, Jay. I'm here with my co-host, Micah. Hey. And Terrence. <laughs> What's up? All right, guys. We are back. This is episode 265, <clears throat> Tyler Perry's Divorce in the Black. Um, look, we broke our one rule, uh, which is we only do a single Tyler Perry movie uh, every year for our own mental safety. Um, but then we forgot this came out and... We got many a message from people going, are you going to do this movie? And uh, Terrence, you um, you mentioned this on the preview episode. <laughs> when I talked, I said that people wanted us to do this. You said just watch the first eight minutes and let me know if you still want to do it. And uh, yeah. yeah, it was, uh, it was a wild eight-minute ride. <laughs> so uh, here we are. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, look, let, let, me, let me spare Micah uh, his pain and just get it out early. <laughs> Micah, what were your thoughts on uh, Tyler Perry's latest film? Film, yeah, man, this it doesn't it doesn't get any better, man. It really doesn't. Like this guy's a billionaire, and it just doesn't get any better. <laughs> um, every character is dumb. Uh, characters born bef- after nineteen eighty are dumber than the ones before nineteen eighty, but. The mm-hmm. ones that were born before 1980 are still kind of dumb. Um, I do think this movie has uh, something that we can discuss. Um, I'll get to it when uh, when we get there. But yeah, man, like this movie is paced very, very poorly. I this is a this is like a a, a two hour movie that feels like a two and a half hour movie. <laughs> um nothing happened he sets he the the whole movie is set up for like an hour like an hour and then and then the stuff that you and he does this a lot right like he thinks that these characters are interesting and we want to be with them we don't yo we just want to get to the shenanigans we just want to get to the shenanigans and chicanery like we just want to get to all the fucking weird goofy drama shit like like you started off strong you started off strong in these first eight minutes right like i this is this is the dramatic like comedy that i'm expecting right (laughs) and then i gotta go through this comedy that's not supposed to be comedy i'm not i was laughing my ass off (laughs) And and it just and and then there's just this 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 huge gulf in the middle of the movie before things start to like get interesting again. So yeah, it's another dud, man. It's another swing and a miss. Um, <laughs> you know, but his his defenders will be like, "Well, you watched it. Yeah, you're right. I yeah. watched it. I watched it. It's and, for work. And, it's for work. <laughs> and yeah. and." You know, he, Megan Good and and Corey Hardrick came out and said that Tyler Perry has paid them the most that they've ever been paid on a movie before. Uh, And that's wonderful. That's great. Um, I love that. That's also, but that's also like kind of an indictment on like your career, if you really think about it. Like, well, I don't know how much they were paid, but I don't know how much they were paid. I'm guessing it's not $20 million. Um, <laughs> I doubt. <it. laughs> that would be amazing, oh, considering that the movie it was a took million. three weeks. Took three weeks, right. To right? Which is which is you know good for them, and also sad that um, yeah. that these actors aren't getting paid uh, what they're worth. But you know, while that's all good, if he's throwing out money like that, he could throw out money for a writers' room. Thank you. You know what I mean? I literally <laughs> had this shit with my wife earlier today. I'm like. Spend it else. Not that you shouldn't spend it on actors, but like spread the shit out. <laughs> spread it out. Yeah, man. Just just spread the love around and spare us this. Yeah, Terrence, what were your thoughts on this? Yeah, the first eight minutes was amazing, right? It's amazing, and then, <laughs> this is something else. And then, then it was an hour and thirty minutes of nothing, and then the last. 30 minutes was, I don't know what the fuck was going on. Um, yeah, this movie's not good. Uh, once again, I, I, again, like you said, it's great that he's paying his actors 
um, more than other uh, directors, producers, whatever you want to call. Um, but that doesn't make these movies any better. I don't give a fuck. About it. Like that's cool. Like get their money, give them their money. But like, you still suck as a director. This is literally your twenty years in the game. Diary of a Mad Black Woman came out in two thousand four or five, something like that. You're twenty years in, and like this doesn't look any better than the first movie you did. I like, come over you. I, I would argue it looks worse, uh, but <laughs> yeah, this one like the lighting is really weird. Uh, clearly, you can clearly tell it didn't really take a lot. It, he does all of his movies are done within three weeks. They're usually done within like twenty days. Because and that's like to finish. And that's like that's like from conception to finish, right? Because he'll I like hope, he'll, I hope I hope not. Come on, nah, we gotta get he'll, 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 he'll knock a movie no, he's out. Got he'll the not. written. He'll get his okay. cast, and then like once the sets, once they're like everybody on set, bam, let's get the work. And then three weeks later, <sighs> if they're done filming, and he just got to cut and edit it, and then they, he just throws it out there, and then he, and we get this shit. Uh, this is not a good movie. Um, script is terrible. I don't know what the fuck is going on with any of the characters. You, Corey Hardrick, I got some, I got some feelings about that character because, um, yeah, he, I, we'll get into it later. Um, Megan Good's character, I don't, I don't get it. They're, her parents are it's just, just. Tyler Perry, he's got problems. Right? He's got some. I don't know if he's been to therapy because I want to. I want to like have a conversation about the the Corey Hardy character because I think I understand. I think I finally figured out what it is with him and the the villains in his movies. I, I think I figured out what it is, um, mm-hmm. and I'll talk about it. But this movie sucks. Like, watch it for for like for to to go along with us in this review. But like, don't do it just to. I mean, if you want to be entertained for the first eight minutes and like the last 30 minutes, cool. But the rest of it, no, just, just, just don't, <laughs> just yeah. don't. Just fast forward. Like, just, yeah. Like his, his formula is just, he's a billionaire. It works. It works. It works. So you're going to keep doing it. And it really, again, like we're going to be a dead horse. It's just irritating at this point. Like it's really fucking irritating. And they can start when I was 23 years old. <laughs> and I'm 43 years old. And a nigga ain't got no better, dog. Damn, man. <laughs> right. <laughs> Shut the fuck. <laughs> like, That's the one. You have no excuse. That's the part that pisses me off the most, man. Yeah. So, okay. Here's my thought. Um, I, I largely agree. Uh, there are some things I do disagree with the two of you on. Um, one, opening, legendary. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna talk about it. it's just fucking legendary. As you said in the preview episode, uh, you could you could have a forty five minute conversation about the opening by itself. It's nuts. Um, I did not find the center part of the movie to be um that bad comparatively, and the reason why I say that is because the entire time, all I could think of is, has this dude ever interacted with human beings before? Because it's so bizarre in how everyone behaves. And I found that to be like, maybe it's from a, like a, a fascination, like a morbid fascination perspective. I was like, human, humans don't interact. Like, this is really weird. Why are you being so pushy? Th- this woman just got asked to sign divorce papers. Why is everyone pushing her so quickly? They're like, it's been so long. I'm like, nigga, it's, it was Wednesday. <laughs> it's Friday. Why is everyone acting like this? It was bizarre. Do like, you know that? that? Yes, because she was at her parents. No, was. she was at her parents' house for one week, and all of that shit yeah. happened during that time. I was like, "Yo, it's been three days, four days. Like, why is everyone acting like this? it was bizarre?" So, like that, just from a bizarro per- perspective, and like my wife was like, "Does this nigga not?" Well, she didn't say nigga, but I say it. Like, <laughs> yeah, you she, sure? was, yeah, no, I'm I'm a hundred percent. Like, get the fuck out. Of that's that's what a Tyler Perry movie will do to you. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, by the way, he uses nigga, I can't the word nigga. <laughs> he used the word nigga a lot in this movie. I was like, he uses it like he uses it like he just learned it. Yeah, it was it was weird. I was kind of like, like he does in real life because like that nigga's like he's got he's got a fan base that's like all churchy and shit. That nigga's a nigga. Yeah, I, I was like, he was just <laughs> like, on, you get one, you get like it was weird. It was it was a little off putting, but 
she was watching it, you know, at parts and she just got the fuck up and walked out. But she was like, <laughs> does he not know how divorce works? Like none of this makes any sense. I was like, he clearly doesn't understand any of the procedures or ask anybody. Um, but to go, so it's a terrible movie. It has a 0% on Rotten Tomatoes. Um, That's crazy. Uh, hey, I think it's like a 53% for audiences. Look, this is why I don't listen to audiences when it comes to movie reviews. <laughs> like, this is exactly why. No, it deserves a 0%. It's terrible. But the thing about this movie, um, and not so much the movie, but about Tyler Perry, is exactly what Michael was alluding to. You're a billionaire now. Why are you still writing shit? Dude, all the rich billionaire producers or whatever, you producing is where the money's at. Spend the money, hire a bunch of people to write shit and become the premier black studio. Like A24 is the indie movie studio, right? Like everybody knows that that is what that studio is famous for. Blumhouse is another one for horror. Neon is kind of like somewhere between like indie horror and sort of indie stuff. Like those smaller studios. Why isn't Tyler Perry Studios used as like the jumping off ground for young, talented black writers and directors? That's where he should be moving his focus. Why is he still the only person writing all of his shit? It's super weird to me. Um, and to me, it's a waste of like, not necessarily his talent, but it, it, it's a waste of like his reach. Like he shouldn't be making this movie. It looks bad. It looks I, uh, like I, I would argue it looks worse than his first movie. When they go to like a restaurant and they're walking up to the restaurant, it's clearly on a set and it looks so cheap. Like it, I was like, that's a set. Like it, like you normally shouldn't be able to notice that unless you're watching a low rent TV show, which is what this felt like. Um, no, it's bad in all of the ways that you would assume. The writing is bad. The acting, for the most part, is not good. And I'm not can even contributing that to the actors necessarily as much as I'm con contributing that to the script. Um, to Micah's point, everyone is dumb. Nobody interacts and makes choices that a normal human being would make. I'm 65 years old. I'm going to go and try to take down these young boys with a shotgun. That feels like a bad idea, Dad. Like, <laughs> feels like a real bad idea. Oh, shit, they beat you up. Shocker. Um... Also, keep your head on the swivel. What the fuck? Um, like, how, how'd you let that happen? You are a marine. Like, nigga. Took that nigga you are a marine. What the fuck? Right. For, first things first. You shoot him, and then you deal with everybody else. Like, nah. Like, you got your back to these. Nah, all right. That that scene pissed me off. I'm like, from a logistics standpoint, that made no sense. Um. So yeah. Look, I'm. I appreciate Tyler Perry paying all of his actors uh, a lot of money or more money than they've ever received. I think that's great. <laughs> I mean, he most famously paid Cicely Tyson a million dollars for like a one scene, three minute role in one of his movies um, a couple years ago, just because like as a real thank you to her for, you know, like he wouldn't be there if she wasn't a person who kind of, you know, forged the way <laughs> in Hollywood. And I, look, I think that's, I think that's admirable. You're 50% of the way there. Here's how you become an icon. Back off and use your power and your reach to help others. You doing this does not help your legacy at all. It hurts it. Um, so, yeah. yeah he, he's, he always talks about, like, hey, they didn't want me to come to the table, so I made the table. Like, why are you the only one sitting at the table? You're at the head of that bitch with no one else around it. That's a per <laughs> like, point. What's the point, though? That's a yeah. perfect, that's a perfect uh, uh, example of, of what Jay is talking about, like what he needs to do, right? Like, it's yeah, – Tyler Perry Studio, Tyler Perry Studio is like the actual compound. It, it, other people rent it. He rents it out to yeah, other people. Yeah, he rents out like the studios and shit like that. But. Which, you know, I get, right? But at the same time, like like you said, you can you can be a kingmaker in the in the industry. He could. You know what I mean? Like, like what, this is what some of them niggas on Tubi resources so they so they can actually right. put some quality shit out there because their movies are not that good nigga your movies are like two steps above tubi movies uh, this felt like a tubi movie to me like nah, if uh, tubi like, movies are really terrible my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> like, they're really bad. you've watched more of them than i have so you know what i'm speaking from a place of ignorance let me let me be quiet but but look there's got to be somebody out there with a little bit of talent in those that you know given the right resources like not just studio space though but like 
hey, man, this is how you shoot this. This is how you, you know, yeah. this is how you write these scenes a little bit better and stuff like that. Yeah, Not from him. I was about to say, I wouldn't get that fucking I, shit from his ass. Look, look, look hire <laughs> proper writers. But he should have a bunch of in-house writers. That yeah. should be, it should be a fucking breeding ground for amazing black talent. That would be, like, you're taking a facility, like, think about the history of that. You you took a facility that was, what, once a, a military base, or like a Civil War military base? Um, Something like that. Yeah, for, for the South, right? You repurpose that as your studio. It's it's in Atlanta, um, or just outside of Atlanta or whatever. Um, no, it's you, in Atlanta. It's, okay, it's in Atlanta proper, right? Mm-hmm. Um, you are bringing young black talent to that studio. And look, you could just say, look, it's, a, it's, it's for black people. Like, and you could just say that. Or you could say, yeah, right. For us, by us. Or you could say, right. Or you could say, look, you could expand the shit out and say, look, this is for, you know, minorities. Give people a chance. Whatever. I, however you want to do it, I ain't mad at you. But do something that builds your legacy besides making a bunch of bullshit. This, like, I'm so mad at this movie because it's so bad even compared to the other shit he's done. This makes me, Mea Culpa look like fucking the Godfather in comparison. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck are we watching? I, I, I know you're being a little <laughs> hyperbolic for effect, but come on, nigga. <laughs> nah, I, nah, I, I mean, feel like you don't I remember mean, that movie. Nah, I mean, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, that movie looked better. I'll it give did. you that. Yes. It did. It did yeah, look better. It looked, looked a better. whole lot better. <laughs> All right, man, look. look. Maybe there's a bit of hyperbole, but like, look, you... you <laughs> Got to say some wild shit to get clicks, right? Everybody knows that. So, no, but I look, I, I just think that he could do something. And I think we would all agree. Like, your legacy does not have to be making mediocre shit like this. Your legacy can be wrapped up in something way more powerful, man. Just that, you're, that your name, long after you're gone, people are like, yeah, I got my start at Tyler Perry Studios. And like, and now I'm directing fucking Oscar award winning movies. You never know. Like, you wouldn't want to be... The guy who discovers some young black talent that ends up making a movie that gets Oscar nominations or, God forbid, wins? Dude, you got a billion dollars to throw at this shit. Dude, that would be... I got a billion dollars? Fuck this. Fuck the work. Let's let somebody else do it. Just hunt for talent. Yeah. I, it's, I, and that's what pisses me off is, like, he has an ability to do something really great and he just refuses. So, cool. I guess we'll get more of this garbage. Um... Yeah, look, this movie is star. We didn't talk about who's in this movie. Um, Megan Good is in this movie, guys. She plays Ava. Corey Hardrick, um, as we talked about many times, uh, plays the character Dallas. Joseph Lee Anderson plays Benji. Taylor Williams plays Rona. Uh, Shannon Wallace plays Jim. Uh, Richard Lawson as Clarence. And Debbie Morgan as Jean. All of these people are wasted. All of them are wasted in this movie. They really are. Um, so let's get into it. Um, the movie opens with one of the greatest openings of all time. This is a funeral in a small church, um, down South or, or, or I think it's like small an hour, town, an hour and a half outside of Atlanta, outside of Atlanta. Right. And Richard Lawson's character is, um, the pastor of this church. Now he is the father. He's, you know, he's the father of Ava making goods character. And he is given the, the, What's the thing they do at funerals, Micah? The wake? The benediction? Which one is it? <laughs> he don't know. He don't know either. I, I, I don't go to Earth? a lot of funerals, Jay. What the fuck? <laughs> like, you, nah, you the religious one. You got to know all the rules. Um, nah, like, you got you to know the things, right? Um, so anyway, they're at a funeral. He's, he's, giving, he's giving a dressing down is what he's doing. I mean, he, <laughs> he kind of is. This is a rude-ass pastor. God damn. Um, so he's he's doing the funeral for Dallas's brother who was recently killed. And normally what you do in a, at a funeral is you, you, you speak positively of the dead. And, you know, even if they were a terrible person, that is a thing that people like to do. They like to, you know, pretend that this piece of shit wasn't someone that everyone wanted dead. Um, and so as he's given his, his, his uh, speech, like it starts to like the, the Dallas's mom starts looking over at, at Dallas and Ava, like, fuck is going on fuck your daddy talking about and everybody starts feeling a little uncomfortable and uh look the woman who plays dallas's mother um i don't have her name here uh 
She was great. Her name, her name is Ursula Robinson. Oh, there. Okay, there she is. Uh, no, I look. I Ursula I thought this performance Robinson. was awesome. I'm gonna keep my mouth shut. Continue. <laughs> God damn it. Um. So. <laughs> like, so so anyway yeah. so she's um oh she was in a show called Ho Face that's great um that's that's probably a Tubi movie or show <laughs> um so she wasn't she she's not too pleased uh that um about this sermon that's the word sermon and um and it's and it's basically bad mouthing her son like oh you know here's a story from the Bible where this guy was he went to hell and was trying to warn people. That, you know, don't follow my actions because I'm down in hell. I'm in hell. I'm burning in hell. <laughs> and so I'm warning my brothers not to follow me because I'm burning in hell. Um, <laughs> and then the, I mean, he was like, he was really letting, he was laying that shit on thick. Um, and the mom is like, she just stands up and was like, you better watch. Well, she don't stand up at first, but she's like, you better watch your fucking mouth, basically. Like, don't say my son is, is in hell. And he was like, it's my job as a pastor to tell the truth. This son is a piece of shit, and all your sons are pieces of shit. They've been terrorizing this goddamn town. Um, and then she starts, like, yelling about how Ava, uh, the pastor's daughter, like, this is all her fault. And it's weird because I'm like, are we supposed to know any of this? Like, it, was, it, it wasn't a setup. It was it just, like, it came in as if the movie had been playing 30 minutes beforehand. Like, it was just bizarre. Um, and then they get up and they start yelling at each other in the middle of a funeral, guys. Like the scene hasn't changed. They're still in a funeral. And he's still shitting on them and saying like, your son led a life of crime. Your children have led a life of crime. Um, and then she's yelling, oh, your, your daughter has made my son miserable. She's sitting right there. She's right next to this motherfucker. She can see it. Um and he literally says what I think might be the, the, the trigger point. Um, the reason your sons have ended up this way is because you didn't raise the, your boys right. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, she had a, if she had a gun, she just started blasting it, like 100%. Um, he's like, stealing, raping, maiming. I'm like, why are they not in jail? <laughs> like, they seem really bad. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how, many, how many cops they got in this small town? One? Well, clearly, yeah, they only had one sheriff. One fat guy, and he was like, well, I can't do nothing if we don't have proof. I need the proof. For, and all right, yeah. all right, like, all right. Do you have a detective? <laughs> Anything? You everybody, in the, everybody in the fucking town knows that you don't investigate a murder. This guy, this guy died. You don't investigate. That, that's not worthy of investigation. Well, no, like, one of the people shot him because he was trying to rob somebody. That's how he so died. Yeah, he tried to rob a he church. He was a fucking criminal. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You know, yeah, and stand your ground. Is that case closed. In Georgia. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. So it's not like the past is wrong. Niggas is pieces of shit. And clearly he was not wrong at all because her husband, the fuck, and his and his brothers. Yeah. They're a bunch of criminals. Man. Yeah. And the mother seems like a piece of shit, too. So he wasn't right. He wasn't wrong. No, no, but the he pat, was look, wrong. You know, but, uh, the delivery, the delivery is is, is, is there's a time and place. Is there a time? <laughs> look, I went to a funeral. I went to my fucking my aunt's uh, husband's funeral, and that nigga. I've told y'all this story. Yeah. Right? and he started talking about gay marriage and shit like that, just in the middle of the funeral. I was like, "What the fuck is this nigga talking about?" <laughs> you should have stood Shacking up, shacking up with each other. I'm like, me and my sister look at each other like, "Yo, what the fuck is this nigga talking about?" <laughs> this has nothing to do so yeah these churches and that's in North Carolina in a small town in North Carolina so yeah mm. uh, look, it's fucking I, weird yeah that's you're all not, I gotta you should, say nah you should have stood up and been like don't say that don't say my son burning in hell <laughs> just start yelling at him <laughs> it's fine I'm um, not gonna take what are you saying it had nothing to do with anybody with nothing to do with anyone in the church at that time doesn't maybe matter. the fucking choir director because I think that nigga was actually gay but yeah, I mean, yeah, that's, that's that's the, that's that seems right for a choir director like, in the no, black church. I think he was at, you could see, I'm like, okay. <laughs> the choir director is like, we doing this again? <laughs> doing this dumb shit again. <laughs> Every Sunday. Them damn, yep, them damn gays. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, all right, all right, yo. All right. <laughs> like, I get, 
Like, look, it's Sunday. Oh, Monday, man. go live your truth. It's fine. Um, so reservation thing, I get it. Yeah, well, that's fair. Uh, maybe he was delivered. I don't know. Um, so, so they start yelling back and forth, right? And it's wild. Like, this is a wild scene. She's like pointing, like, "Yo, you all ruined the day. You, you fucking made you know treated my son like shit." Meanwhile, her son is sitting right next to, it, and he ain't even looking at his own wife. Your mom is just pointing at your wife saying some wild shit, which is crazy to me. Um, more on that later. Uh, look, I can tell you right now, there's a character in this movie uh, who would have got his throat punched many a time for saying some wild shit um, in front of in front of me if that was if I was the other character he's talking to. I was like, yo, you gotta die. Um, so at this point, the 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 pastor is just like laying this shit out, like, yeah, your son's a piece of shit, y'all y'all pieces of shit. And, <coughs> burn to hell right and um she was like she started the big mama started taking her clothes off she's like i don't need these hand-me-downs that your bitch ass wife gave us like fuck y'all we poor you know we mad it's cool and um she was like the bird trans don't need your money and so she starts undressing which i was like slow down like where the uh, fuck is this going <laughs> yeah y'all was like how far are we going with this one tyler nigga it's been that's what i was like minutes. That's why I was like, yo, are they about to fight? Because, like, she was taking her hat. She took her, her, her hat and her wig off. Like, all right, I'm getting ready to scrap. Like, and then she kept going. I'm like, whoa, what the fuck? Like, she ain't put Vaseline on, on her face or nothing. What is going on? <laughs> no, the protocol. What kind of freaky ass fighting is this? Yo, but, like, the fucked up thing is when she, took, when she took her hat off and it showed her real hair, it was, like, you know, sort of, like, sort of reddish or whatever because it's been dyed. Yo, know, like, everyone in the audience was like, oh. Mm. <laughs> they were just like, oh, damn. <laughs> I was like, oh, she didn't have her hair done. That, that's fucked up. Um, yeah, so um, Dallas is like, hey, mama, don't do that. And she was like, nah, fuck that. Started stripping down. Took off, all, took off. I guess, the clothes they gave her. Um, got down to her, her she got like a girdle her on. Slip. Yeah, I'm like, yo, what is, <laughs> hey, big mama, you got to relax. Um, yo, she threw the clothes at the pastor. He was like, oh, all right now, relax. Um and so she then tells her sons, her other four sons, get get your brother. And these niggas go to proceed to like take the coffin. They're like, all right, we're gonna fucking walk the shit out. And she's like, no, get the body out of the coffin. Cause they're gonna just they they wanna you know brag that they paid for the coffin. I don't want them, I don't want them to 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 uh, say that we that we took it and they paid for it. Nope, get them out. And then these motherfuckers grab the fucking body they didn't want to right at least to their credit <laughs> i guess like they didn't want to take it out and then she was just like take it out and they they grabbed the body the church is in a fucking uproar and this fucking asshole pastor is like that's all right they can have the body judge has uh god has already passed judgment on his soul so pff, whatever <laughs> yeah, who the fuck has body? Which is here. a which is a wild thing to say, yo. Yo, and they just literally left the church. Guys. Escalate a conversation, uh, uh, some commotion. Hey, it's all right. God got him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. or not. Yo, the best part is they walk out the front door. They like they don't like. There's no bullshit in it, right? Like Tyler Perry shoots the whole scene. They walk the fuck out of the church and put the body in the back of the pickup truck and drive away. Like, there's no, like, fade to black. No, these niggas really took this body and left, um, which is crazy. And then it's like Tyler Perry's divorce in the black. Um, and then you see um, Ava's friends, um, Rona and Jim. Uh, Rona is her coworker, and Jim is, her, and Jim is uh, Rona's husband. And they're waiting for, for Ava, and they're like, hey, you okay? And, and she's like, yeah, I'm all right. And, and Ava's like, or excuse me, Rona's like, well. Went better than your wedding. It, was not, it wasn't as bad as your wedding. I'm like, nigga, what happened at the wedding? They just stole a dead body. What happened at the wedding that could have possibly been worse? I kind of like. I kind of need a like a, um, a flashback. So the yeah, I need to see what yeah. the hell happened. Though. Like, yeah, that's what I need. Give me something. Yeah, I, I need like Big Mama like doing a like a belly dive on the cake or something. Like, come on, man. You you can't you can't promise that and not show it to us, right? You gotta you gotta give us something. Um, so she's like, yeah, don't remind me. It's like, yeah. Um, and so 
But then she's like, girl, what are you doing with this family? Like, these niggas is crazy. And so she's like, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna try to go, you know, fix it. Meanwhile, Ava's poor parents, they just trying to be supportive, right? Like, I mean, her dad's a pastor. You kind of kind of lit the match there, dad. Like, that was kind of fucked up. Um, <laughs> but, but at the same time, I, I look, I respect the trolling. I really do. Um, but they're trying to be, they're like, well, you know, we're just trying to do what's, you know, let you do what you do and whatever's best for you in Dallas. And look, Debbie Morgan is trying to act reasonable in this movie. You can tell she read that script and was like, what? Why? I've been in so many things that's better than this. Um, and so, yeah, so, um, so Debbie Morgan's character, um, and, and her husband, um, they're just like, all right, we just, we got to just hope that she, you know, that we raised her right and, you know, she's going to be good. Look, there's a later scene that we can definitely talk about, but this idea of not saying something when you see your kids as adults doing shit that you know is detrimental to them, I pray to whatever God you believe in that I don't, that this I am never put into this situation because I just cannot imagine I'm not very good at curbing my mouth <laughs> like in situations like that like i I'm, I'm not i'd be like you gonna stay married to this motherfucker like are you for real and my wife is terrible about that so i i cannot imagine I, i'm really and this is the thing this is the big thing in this story that i think is actually kind of serious that we should uh really touch on is that you know the, it, it, megan good is talking to her parents and she's like you guys taught me, you preached to me that you are supposed to uh, stand, to, to stick with your marriage and, and, and I, it, you know, for better or for worse, right? Like, that's what y'all told me. So, no, I'm not divorcing him. He's, I see good in him. He can, he can, you know, we're going we gonna like to weather the storm. And it's not, it's, it's, it's not that, I get it, right? I, I I really do, right? You you, if you have an argument, you're not supposed to file for divorce if you have an argument, right? But like yeah, the course. things that, you but are. the things that happen to this character in this movie, is not worth. Like you have to look out for yourself. You do. Yeah, and look, I get it. When you when you get when you get married, it's not me, it's we, but it's also me. Right? Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> It is. You're still a person, yo. Know? You can't just, like, let, you can't just lay down and just be too, like garbage. You can't live your life for the other person. You got to live your life with the other person. Okay. And if you can't live your life with them, then you need to get out. And look, I think this character has, uh, you know, I do think this character is dumb, but I also think this character is supposed to have had some sort of, you know, block that prevents her from getting away from dangerous um from a dangerous situation and look you, you know Tyler Perry is the 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 god guy right like he's the he's the preachy movie guy but i think religion has a lot to do with it and you can't you can't let that religion is not meant to put you in a bad place ideally sure. that's fair so it, you also have, they even say it later on in the movie. Like you can't just pray shit away. Like you gotta, you gotta act. Right. It requires right? action. Have, right. And, um, and I think that is a message that like more people need to actually hear and take heart. And this is me being very generous to this dumbass movie, yo, because like <laughs> maybe this character is really stupid, but like, I'm trying to find things about this that that's all i got yeah I, I mean look there is there is an aspect to this movie that is sort of i don't know that he means it this way um and and i'm i i think he does but not in the maybe the harsh word i'm going to use which is it is about a level of indoctrination and i don't mean from a, like a religious aspect i mean like being indoctrinated into how you're supposed to be in a marriage, right? Because that, that can be out. That can be on the outside of religion, 
right? It's just that she just happens to be a religious person. But many people are told that you stick with your spouse and you you stick it out no matter what, no matter what. I don't agree with that. I mean, I think, you know, a marriage is supposed to be a partnership. I know young people don't believe that. You think that, you know, niggas are supposed to be sentient wallets and women are supposed to just cook and clean for you like fucking slaves. I know that's the narrative now because you guys are fucking idiots. But in actuality, a marriage is supposed to be a partnership between two people, right? I don't drag you by the hair out of a fucking cave. You're supposed to be partners. There are things that break those partnerships. Cheating is one of them for a lot of people. Some people can get past it. I'm not one of them. Um, But it's supposed to be, you're supposed to be in it together. Now, that doesn't mean you don't weather some serious shit. It doesn't mean that like, like having kids is really fucking hard, right? And it can pull you apart in a, in a ways that you cannot imagine, right? Just some stress and things like that. That doesn't mean you go, oh, this shit is really difficult. And I wanted it to be perfect, so I'm out. Like that's not what a fucking marriage is supposed to be. But like if your spouse is abusive to you, whether it's physical or emotionally or verbally abusive to you, you don't just take that shit and just be like, well, this is my lot in life. You don't have to take that shit. You can just be like, hey, look, there are laws for now. That you could be like, I'm out of here. This is bullshit. And you don't have to be treated like that. Um, but I do think people get indoctrinated to this sort of mentality, right? And and also going the other way too, of if it's any work, then that's not it's supposed to be perfect and there should be no work. That's not realistic either. That's that's why people get divorced. Yeah, if you think that deep. way, right. If you th- if you think that way, just don't get married. Yeah. Like, just no, don't marriages get married. are marriages are work. It it is it is a fucking full time job because you are working to try to keep yourself as a sane person and be respectful of someone who grew up in a completely different ontology than you, and also come together on many things. Right? Like that's a difficult thing to just not try to bombard the person like everything I say is right type of shit, or just go everything you say is right and just let them roll over you. Like that's a difficult thing to do. So. There is this idea that is kind of permeated throughout this movie of like, you don't have to do exactly what your parents told you to do, but also maybe you read what your parents were saying a little bit wrong, right? You took a more hardline sort of box stance. She took it literal. Right. Yeah. Like, (laughs) because even her parents are like, I mean, shit, we ain't mean it like that. God damn. Right. But a lot of people do read it like that because some people are really not good at understanding like any level of nuance. They're just like, stand by your man, stand by your woman. And that's it. Like, yeah, but not all the time, you know, like there's levels to this shit. So that is the one thing in this movie that I do think is, is worth talking about. There's a really good conversation between Ava and her parents later on that touches on this. Actually, probably the best scene in the movie. I mean, outside of carrying a dead body out of a fucking funeral, it's just top line shit. Um, <coughs> So she goes to see um, Dallas and, and um, his brothers and, and mom uh, because, again, they stole a dead body and they went to bury it on their property like a bunch of goddamn hillbillies. And um, and so she's like, oh, I'm sorry. She gets out of the car. She's like, I'm sorry. You know, and her one – his one older brother like seems like maybe he's like – he got a little bit of reason in him. So it's not your fault. Like, it is. My family's wild. But then later on, you're like, oh, this nigga's crazy too. Got it. All right. Um, and she's looking for Dallas. And they're like, oh, you know, he's he's in the pickup truck. You know how he is. All right. Seems weird. Um, so she goes and she sits in this pickup truck. And this is the first time you're hearing from this character, by the way. Um, we're like 14 yeah. minutes into the movie, which is fucking weird. And um, he's a real piece of shit. I don't like this guy at all. I think his performance yeah. is pretty good as a piece of shit, but, but like, I his think he's the best one. In the it's the his best performance movie. is so good as a piece of shit. I think this guy's an actual piece of shit. Yeah, I'm like, is he? Like, active? I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what he is, who he is or anything like that. My wife was like, oh, that's mm-hmm. one of the Maori sisters, ex-husbands or something. I, yeah. I don't know. But this nigga looks like a piece of shit. He looks like a he looks like a divorced. young he, he looks like a young evil DL Hughley. He looks <laughs> fucking evil, bro. When he gets mad, he reminds me of James Evans from Good Times. <laughs> <I know. laughs> 
So um, here's the thing about this character because you. Yeah, you thought you wanted to talk about the villains. So I'm curious if you want to talk about that. Yeah, this guy in in they're married. Okay, when you when you have a villain in a movie, you usually have at least one or two scenes to show why she married him, right? Yeah, like the charm him him being charming enough for her to be like in love with this guy. A hundred percent. You don't get any of that. You don't get. It's weird. This nigga's just a fucking scumbag. Yeah, right. I asked, my wife, like, I, get... mm-hmm. I asked my wife, I said, where did these people meet? <laughs> I said, <laughs> <'Cause> they, <laughs> said they, <laughs> where were they? they? said that they were like in high school together. They said that like, they've the known f- each other since f- they were kids. And I'm like, okay, well, what was he like 15, As 20 a, years ago? Right. Because like she's playing 37 and she says she gave him 20 years. That means she got married to yeah, 17. 17. <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, what do you, how, what did you see in this nigga to begin with? First of all, that's the first thing that I'm like, that you can't just have a dude just be a villain. Yeah. You need like, some, you, you need she, a little bit of stuff. It looks insane for her to be with this dude for so long. And we just don't know what the fuck she saw in him because you, you sit there and watch this movie. You're like, what's wrong with, what's her problem? Why is well, she, I think what, is it the bad think. boy kind of thing, but it like it needs explanation. It really does. I, That's not I even think a bad boy kind way, of thing. I think his way of trying to illustrate that is later on when he is drunk and he's kind of opening up a bit. Um, yeah, yeah, and, okay. toward the end, but, and he kind of gives a, little, a slight backstory as to what what his problem is. I understand. Yeah, I got but that. That's kind of that's that's not nah, that's bu- nah, I'm not bullshit writing. Movie. It's terrible writing. <laughs> it's terrible writing okay. is what that is because you just give you, you just give him throwaway lines that if you weren't really paying a lot of attention, you missed it. Towards the end of yeah. the movie, he's like, "Oh, shot my father dead." I'm like, "Okay, wow, what the fuck? That was in the last like five minutes of the movie." Like, what? Okay, that's a lot of trauma. But and then the other thing that I realized about his villain, Tyler Perry's villains, I watched his um, documentary last year. Um, did I lose? Yeah, go ahead. Me? No, I get it. Everything is frozen. Oh, okay. Um, I watched his documentary last year. Are you sure? I'm gonna pause this. You good? I'm frozen. You good? All right. Um, and he was talking about his father. His father's a terrible human being. Tyler Perry's father. Okay. It's a terrible yeah. shit. And if you notice, all of the, the, the men that are like villains in his movies are pretty similar. And mm-hmm. I think he's writing all of his villains as his father. Yeah. At this point, I think that's what it is. It's 20 years in. These dudes are really terrible people. His father's like a real, a real piece of shit. Like, in I what ways? I, I don't know. Like, he's just... He's like uh, abusive to his mom. Like I think he almost shot it. Like he had he one. I think he said one time um, he was on a porch and he pulled a gun out on his mother. All kinds of crazy shit like that. He was just a bad. He's a, a real bad dude. Uh, so I think he's just channeling his father with all these bad guys, with all these villains. Hmm. And henceforth, no new ones. I think this is the closest. Yeah, I think this is the closest character to his father that I've that I've probably. He's that, that they've probably seen in his movies. I don't know if his mother got a divorce. Um, I can't remember. But yeah, it's again, it's it's just it's just that's how he's just dealing with shit now. It's weird. And and so that's that's the reason that you made the point of like, has he gone to therapy? It's a very good. Yeah, I don't I don't know if he I don't know if he has or not. because uh, I hope so. He's he's like I, I, putting it in his writing, but all of his yeah. movies are the fucking and maybe that's his therapy. Maybe he feels like that's his his therapy is getting in on the page. It ain't, it ain't working, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, like if you were making amazing villains, I'd be like, all right, don't go. Yeah, there. Like, like this shit is all one note. Like this nigga is horrendous. Yeah, he's a real and, derp. And you know what? To your point, right? Like this guy is like a villain in the way a child would see a villain. Right. Yeah. Like, like how he doesn't like his dad. Yeah. Because a kid, a kid wouldn't, wouldn't have access to this guy's psyche. Right. Like he wouldn't, Mm -hmm. he would only see the negative shit and he, and he wouldn't understand. So that's why all of his villains are like that to your point. And it's just, that's a great, that's actually a great observation. Yeah, it really is. Because you're right. You're right. It does. Then it does make sense. 
by the way, we're not changing our score because of this. Um, <laughs> but it does, in fact, make sense why you only get throwaway lines about who he really is, right? That would be a child's perspective. Like you overhear your dad say something and it's like, I, I guess that means something, right? Like, but that's it, right? Like I had to shoot my, I had to shoot my father dead. Well, that's all you know, right? You don't have anything below that surface. Everything is surface for you. That's a, that's a great observation, yeah. actually. Um, yeah, I, I, it'd be interesting. I, I'm not going to do it. Somebody out there could do it. Go back and watch all of his movies with villains and see how how similar they are to this character. Or are they just like slight variations on the scene? As far as I can remember, like yeah. The first, the first movie, my dad from Black Woman, he was just like, mm, no, I don't like you no more. And I'm going to throw you out the fucking house. Yeah, yeah, like it's, I'm rich <laughs> and fuck you, goodbye. I'm like, okay, they, well, that's again one note. Like, just what the fuck? Why? Like, yeah, why so would anyone my, do I gave you like years of my life and now just fuck you? Okay, well, thanks, but like, there's no reason for it. It's just I don't like you anymore. Okay, well, <laughs> what? Yeah, this is there's, there's no nuance to his writing, and that's the and I think and again. Again, he's got a he's got a formula. People love it. I mean, and I mean, this guy is not over the top. And I will say that this character isn't over the top. Corey Hardrick's character is not over the top. No, I don't think I've he is. I, like that. Yeah. I think this dude is the best performance in the movie by far. <laughs> like, and yeah. and look, this is it's not a good movie, but his performance, like when he's on camera, I'm like, all right, I'm I'm interested to see what you're gonna do because he's he yeah, is when he's not on there. It's just like it's just a it, slog. That's that's when it becomes a little bit slower, right? To to Micah's point earlier, um, but yeah, the second he shows up, I was like, "This nigga's in the house in the morning eating breakfast." Oh shit, what's about to happen? Like, nope. I'd be like, "Cool, nine one one, you better get out." You know how they feel about niggas. <laughs> you better get out of here. Um, we in the south too, boy. You better leave. Get out of here. Um, so yeah, no, I think he's. I think he is putting in the 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 best work in the movie. Look, Megan Megan Good's character is written. Um, in the classic Tyler Perry way. And look, we can extrapolate out our last point. Are all of these women written like his mom? Who are just sort of women who are in these abusive relationships where the world is happening, life is happening to them. They have little to no agency. We've talked about that across all of his movies. They're just they're just being thrown around. And it's, well, the man's doing something again and I'm just just holding off for dear life just if I can make it to the end. Right. I because that's how, that's how he saw his it. mother that's as a child. Yeah. It yeah, makes total sense. Think about it. The, the Medea character is the one like, I'm not taking any kind of shit from anybody. And he plays that character. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's all starting to make sense. Yeah. Like, Nigga, we're very really smart, like, yo. yo. The three of us are very <laughs> smart. Like, I'm not t- he's like, I'm not taking any shit from any of these crazy ass niggas. I'm going to start yeah. busting caps and motherfuckers. And shit. Yeah. I you, think that's how, how he deal? wanted to be when he was younger. Not like, well, not, not necessarily a woman, but like, you know, have that oh. much confidence to like step up to your father or whoever the fuck and be like, nah, we're not, we're not doing this. But he didn't when he was younger. Right. So. I mean, the yeah, idea I of therapy. Starting to, I think we're starting to break through through this nigga's psyche, yo. Yeah. It, it's only taken in. 265 episodes. <laughs> <laughs> we nailed it. And fucking like, 30 movies, however many he's done in the last 20 years. Right. But no, but I think that's a good point. And and look, you get you know he's often said that like the Medea character is based on like some of like his aunts and things like that. It could yeah. be it could be an amalgam of how he feels that he wanted to be, which I can hundred percent see, or he very you know and like a mixture of these other women in his life that were yeah. tough and maybe did stand up to his dad in defense of his mom and defense of other women stuff like that. You don't know. Um, I just want to say, like, that does not excuse the piss poor movie making. <laughs> okay, like all of that being said, it just makes him an an interesting sort of added bonus to the movie. Like, how does he see the world? Um, but yeah, that how he sees his parents that'd be a really interesting way to go back and look at his movies as these women who are abused um, by these these men. And our, I mean, know. I'm I mean, I'm thinking about the the my favorite Tyler Perry movie is is um Acrimony? Uh, no. <laughs> well, which by the way, <laughs> you mentioned that Apparently. you mentioned that that's the revenge movie, nigga. That's the revenge. You movie. mentioned Acrimony. You mentioned Acrimony. Somebody <laughs> on our Discord, uh, I can't remember their name. I'm sorry, but somebody on Discord was like, "Divorce in the Black" is just like Acrimony with the genders reversed, right? 
A little bit. A little bit. Like acrimony, bit. like acrimony is a weird one because acrimony deals with the idea of this black man who was like not a piece of shit, but just couldn't get his life together. And then when he got his life together, she got angry. And she was like, nah, I don't like that. And that's kind of like, that was kind of a yeah, fucked up weird God. twist. Like, why are you mad at him? Yeah. But why it's did I get married? Give you nine million dollars. Yeah. <laughs> right. He did. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> why did I get married? Right. Like, it's the that same is, thing. That's with, my favorite uh, one. I agree. Yeah, I love that movie. Not love, but I, it's my favorite yeah. of his. Actually, and yeah. it's the same. It's the same formula, right? Jill Scott is his mom, yeah. mm-hmm. right? And and her husband is his dad, or whatever, right? And it's yeah, wow, wow. We finally, we finally cracked that egg. Uh, I have a question, and I'm I'm looking it up. I do not know. Did Tyler Perry's mom get a divorce? And marry somebody, uh, marry another man who perhaps comes in, in comes black. in as a very good father figure, because I, I, because, because so. there's a lot of that. It's a lot of black women being abused, and then you know by some piece of shit black dude, and then they get rescued by someone else. Very rarely do they rescue themselves. So it'd be it'd be interesting oh. to know that. So yeah, I don't know, man. All right, so. Yeah, we'll try to try to figure that out. It, it would be interesting to know, like, and it was a light skinned nigga, um, who, <laughs> like, ah, you know what? This all it's all starting to make sense now. Um, his mom was only sixty four. That sucks. God damn. Say again. That's kind of his mom was only sixty four when she passed. Wow. Holy shit. That's damn. Very, How the um, old is she? Yeah, because he's fifty. Probably. Right? Probably. And she died in twenty twenty. <laughs> so. Wow. Yeah, she was very young. Huh. Um. Yeah. He's fifty four. That's crazy. Yeah. So she, so she leaves after she. So Ava, Ava leaves. Um, he's like, look, you need to get the fuck out of this truck. Like, it's not playing now. I'm sad. She's like, all right, all right, all right. So she gets in her. She she leaves and she gets in her car, and she falls asleep. And she's woken up by uh, uh, Big Mama. And Big Mama's like, the fuck are you still doing here? Get off my land is what they say in the South apparently, and um. So she's like, well, well, where, where's Dallas? And she's like, he went to this bar. Like, get the fuck out of here. And so she goes, she goes looking for him um, at this bar, which looks like um, the same bar they were looking at in the first season of True Detective. Fucking terrifying. Um, so she goes there. And look, this is a little small town, so everybody's there. And him and his brothers are there playing uh, pool. And um, she's like, oh, hey, um, you know, are you doing okay and everything else? And his brothers are talking wild shitty to her, yo, which I don't appreciate. Like, all right. But, like, that's my wife, my nigga. Like, relax. Relax. I'll take a pool cue across your big ass head. Knock it off. Um, and they're like, you feel good for shaming my family and all this other shit? And she's like, Dallas, can we go home? Get out of this country ass town and go back to Atlanta. Knock it off. Real city. And um, so, so he's like, all right, yeah, let's leave. And so she goes, she goes outside and she runs into Benji, um, her old high school sweetheart, um, who again, a slight shade lighter than her husband. Um, so, you know, you know, he's the hero and, uh, he's played by Joseph Lee Anderson and um, he's in, um, young rock. He plays Rocky Johnson. <laughs> So I kept Is that the same Rocky guy? Johnson. Oh, that's, that's funny. Yep. I was like, I see this father, from somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. He plays The Rock's dad in that in that show. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. All right. I mean, he's a big fucking dude. That makes sense. A big nigga, yeah. He's, no, he's, big he's, he's big as fuck. Look, um, look, my wife, my wife, when we were watching this, later on there's a scene where this nigga's wearing a tank top or a vest or some shit at the fair. Yeah. And she and look, she wasn't paying attention. Like it was one of those things that was just like audible. She was like, God damn. <laughs> <laughs> Like, oh, all right, all right. I'm right here. Like, relax. I'm right here. God damn. You know I can see. <laughs> That's funny. Um, so so Benji's like, oh hey, girl, how's it going? Like, it's good to see you, or whatever. And here comes uh Dallas and his brothers, and um they're like, Did we beat your ass last time? 
Like, you tell you, and and you you come to find out, like, nigga, that was in high school. <laughs> like, that shit wasn't like last week. Like, like I'm a lot bigger now. Like, <laughs> knock your fucking head off. Um, so him and his brothers surround Benji, um, because that's what cowards do. And um, they're like, look, you better get the fuck out of here before we put you in the hospital. Um, and um, Dallas has his way of pointing at people that I do not care. For. <laughs> yeah, that's just fucking funny, dude. <laughs> <laughs> he always With points at people. Fingers? Yeah, like he's gonna fucking shoot them. Uh, that's a level of disrespect uh, I I would not yeah. care for. But at the just same time, break that nigga's fingers. <laughs> yeah, but like at the same time, it's like it's kind of tough. Like you know what? All right, this guy seems kind of dangerous. Um, so they run Benji off. He gets his big ass uh, back in his big ass truck, and and so they they go. Um, so he's like, all right, um, I'm, I'm going to drive home. And he's like three sheets of the wind. And then he points at his brother in his face, too. And I'm like, you got to relax, yo. I need you to pull one of them fingers back. Yo. Like, knock it off. Um, and his brother's like, you're not driving home. And Ava's like, you're not driving home. You're drunk. And him and his brother just start fighting like two children. It's really weird. And then his brother gets the um, brother gets the keys and throws them to, throws them to Ava and then after he beats up his brother, he throws his brother in the car. That would not be the – that's the first, but would not be the last time uh, he gets beaten up and thrown into a car. So, you know, <laughs> foreshadowing. Um, so from there, they head back They head back home. They they get to Atlanta. Um, their house is really ugly, in my opinion. Um, but it's really big, it, first of all. It's a big fucking house. But it's yeah, like, it costs $23,000, okay? They live in Atlanta. <laughs> That house, that house probably came with an extra sky blue. Yeah, it probably came with an extra house. Just threw one in. Uh, The inside of the house is quite lovely. Um, But yeah, they live in this amazingly nice house. Um, And she's she works at a bank. Like she don't run. My first thought was like, what does this nigga do? She works at a bank. Does Um, he push weight? He does. (laughs) Like what the fuck is he doing? (laughs) Because it don't seem like he got. He we got have no like, idea. They never say what he does because he's just one fucking note character. He's like, I gotta go to work. Like, what do you do? I don't know. Whatever. Down work. steel mill or something. All right. Um, so fact. they're back. They're back home. Um, and look, he's 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 sitting by the toilet. He's crying. There's so much pain. I you know. I ain't shit. I ain't no good. I'd be like, you're right. Here's the divorce papers. I printed them off Legal Zoom. Sign that shit. Get the fuck out of here. Um, and so, so that's, oh, that's your to killing his father. The first yeah. time, it's the first time he said it. Okay. I forgot this yeah. one. So th- this is your, this is your like, see, he's a human being moment. Um, oh, yeah. I'm not buying it. I'm like, this nigga drink 12 whiskeys. Is he even telling the truth? Talk to me when you're sober. Um, so he, you know, he pulls his, he pulls the, I gotta go to work bullshit. And so he leaves the next day. Uh, something happens that I find to be deeply frustrating in the next scene. Um, we see Rona and um, her husband, Jim, and they're leaving their house and they're walking up to the curb where Rona, I guess, is riding to work with Ava. But they're walking across their yard. Which <laughs> <laughs> One, well, I mean, that's a big fucking yard, you know. Nigga, it has a U-shaped oh, driveway. Why yeah, didn't you just drive into the driveway, the driveway yo? Just pull into the driveway. Yeah. For no, God yo, sakes. that's really irritating. Yo, I worked on all this landscaping. I cut this grass. This, I paid someone <laughs> to cut this grass this weekend. How dare you walk across it? I would have been mad, yo. Like that, that scene made no sense. It's like they just wanted to show the nice neighborhood they lived in. Like Tyler Perry's like, this is a great place. You should move to Atlanta. It's lovely for black people. It's like, all right, cool. <laughs> but could she just pull into the driveway? It kind of it kind of is. First of all, this is a, this is an obnoxious ass house. All right, this is <laughs> and it's, awesome. it's a it's a it's a rancher, which fine, but it's all black on the outside. Yeah, and it's not built like any other home in the yeah. All the other houses look. Normal. It's built similar. <laughs> it's built similar to my house that I I lived in in the U.S. Yeah, yeah, that is true. It's a it's, it's a, a mid circuit yard. Just isn't as big. It's like they knocked like two houses out of the way to make this rancher, and they left the old nineteen sixties houses right next to each other. Right. Like, yeah. Right, like, yeah. It's just, yeah. Yeah. It, it, it's. it's I bet their well, neighbors hate them niggas. <laughs> For real. Yeah, they're like, don't use the driveway. Walk. I'm like, all right, fine. Um, yeah, don't walk across the driveway. The the grass. That was 
stay off my fucking grass. Um, so on their way to work, um, Rona and Ava are talking and Rona's like, listen, R- Rona is like me. Why are you with this nigga? Like, what, tell me that <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Right. Um, and Ava's like, I thought we weren't going to talk about it. You know, I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to work it out. And she's like, look, your husband's a piece of shit. Um, and she's like, look, you, you cook for him. You clean for him. You work all day. You literally, you do literally everything for him. Um, I don't like it. I don't like you doing everything for him. Again, a marriage is supposed to be a partnership. You shouldn't have to do all the things. That's why you have a partner. The fuck are we doing? Um, so look, Ava, Ava is buying like hook, line, and singer into this. Like, I gotta do the 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 southern the southern girl shit of like I gotta be you know everything for this nigga while he don't do nothing. Um, and Rona's like, look, I'm a chick from the north. Fuck that dude. <laughs> Like she's like, nah, yo, nah, I ain't cooking nothing. As soon as she said that, as soon as she said that, I thought of you. I'm like, God damn it. Like, here yeah. this nigga, this nigga getting rid of rail on people from the south. Yeah. No, and I know about going to the south. No, not as if he's south. not as if, he as if he didn't as if he didn't live below the Mason Dixon line. Look, and I regret it. I regretted it every live, day of my life. You live so <laughs> far south, you ain't even in the country no more. <laughs> <laughs> Look, look, you goddamn right. You goddamn right. Down here where people know how to treat a woman, right? Um I'm, anyway. I'm gonna backtrack real quick to uh I just looked up um Tyler Perry's Wikipedia. Apparently, um he took a DNA test uh a couple He's years 100% ago. percent that and bitch. sorry. <laughs> the guy that said that he that his mom said was his father was not his father. So, oh yeah, there was also a vet part. So I don't know if he's 100% sure who the fuck his father is, but the guy that was in the house with him was a piece of shit. So there's that. Anyway, continue. Thanks. That is- <laughs> yeah, he had a fucked up childhood, yeah. So yeah, then again, I think it's all come, I, it comes out in his writing. Wow. That's 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 really sad, actually. Like, whatever you think of his movies, like, nobody deserves to have that kind of upbringing as a kid. Like, that's rough as shit. Um, Ava, um, after working in the, the uh, working in the bank all day, um, you know, making the bacon. She's ready to come home and fry it in a pan. Um, she comes home and um, this dude uh, is just sitting there drinking whiskey, as you do. Um, and she's like, oh, "Okay, we're supposed to go to supposed to go to dinner tonight, like with Rona and Jim. She's gonna be dope. Are you ready?" And he's like, um, "And she's and he asks her like, you ready? Like, nigga, I I just walked into the door." She's like, all right, just I like to take a shower and change. Um, and he was a real asshole. He's like, you ain't been doing nothing but sitting all day. Like, again, again, yo, again, at work, again my, man, what did you do all day? What did you, you, do? you didn't give me any reason to, to understand why the fuck they're together. So, like, all of this is just nonsense to me. She's Madness. way too nice. Dude. She's way too nice then. Like, yo, he's just I'm being mean for no reason. Life at this nigga. <laughs> what was wrong with this dude? Yeah, I'd just be like, yo, fucking come here. Stab your ass. Um, she's like, look, just give me 45 minutes. I'll be right down. I'll be quick. Look, one, Megan, go take all the time you need. Um, two, she got down in like 35 minutes and um, she looked great. Um, more on that later. Good Lord. And um, this nigga just left. You ever just left, Michael? You ever just, you got a dinner reservation, you just leave your wife yeah, because you, so you 100% ridiculous. want a fist fight later. Like, what the fuck? You just going like, to leave? This, is, <laughs> this was just, this was just like, I understand you trying to make this character like a bad guy, right? But like, god damn. Like, and I get it, right? He's drunk. We're supposed to not like this guy. But um, I don't know. It just doesn't make sense to me. I, like, like, you can make bad people without making them like cartoons. Yeah, that's you know super, I mean? a super villain. Like who? Like, who is just leaving? Like, that, who's leaving their what? wife? Yo, like that's crazy. So he shows up at the restaurant um, by himself, and um, yo, he acting. He's acting. Uh, Mad niggerish to everybody in this restaurant. And it, it is, it's, it's a little bothersome, you know. Um, 
the waiter standing there, he goes, uh, yeah, bourbon straight. Like he ain't even sit down. And then he pounds on the table, is like, hey, yo, where's my drink? Like, like two minutes later. It's fucking wild. Um, and of course he's drunk. Um Rona immediately asked, like, where is Ava? He's like, I left her at home. And um <laughs> and Jim is like, hey, yo, you trying to like can you not make this a hard night for me, my nigga? Like, I'm look, I'm trying to have a good time. Um, Ava pulls up to the restaurant, um, which is obviously um, on the Tyler Perry Studios lot. It looks ridiculous. <laughs> um, again, just zoom in so we can't see the like the weird Back to the Future fucking town uh, they all live in. Um, and so she's like, "Oh, I'm here," and Ron, and she's like, "Don't say anything." And Rona's like. All right, I'm gonna be a good friend. They 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 come into the restaurant and, and um Dallas is acting like an asshole and they they all sit down and everything is good. And Dallas won't even look at his wife. She's too fine to be with this nigga, you know. Like she's too fine to be with him. Like this shit makes make me mad. <laughs> um and I don't mean from a looks perspective. I mean this dude is just being an asshole. Like it's just ridiculous. Um and Rona was like, um, so you're not gonna Talk to her. She's sitting right there. And he says to Dallas says to, to Jim, you better get your wife, man. See, this is the first time I'd have punched this thing <laughs> in his face, yo. Like he calls his wife, he calls Jim's wife a bitch right in front of him multiple times in one conversation. I'm like, you remember in He Got Game when Denzel throat punched that dude? Like yeah. so, that's exactly what would have happened to this dude, yo. And this nigga's little. I'm gonna fuck you up in this restaurant. Get out of here, you know. Um again, uh, where did these two meet? Like they're not a friends. Like, yeah, they, they're, they're, right. they're all like childhood friends. I don't know no. about um not Rona. Rona. No, nah, she she but knew like, he's like, hey, he's my friend. I've known him longer than that. Even he knew you. I'm like, so you just gonna let him treat this woman like shit? You gonna let him treat your, like, your wife like shit? You, what shit like, yeah. Like, what's wrong with you? You the bitch, nigga. Like, what nah, Jim. Is, like, Jim's a, is he Jim's scared a of bitch his brother? Ass, yo. Nah, yeah. No, nah, that's cool. We just be scared then, because yo, I like you. Just gonna have to come come up to get in your fucking hillbilly truck and drive on up to Atlanta. I got something for y'all asses too. You're not gonna call my wife a bitch in front of me. Y'all. I'm just gonna take that shit. No, we gotta fight. The fuck? <laughs> like that's it. We gonna be rolling around in this. A very cheap set right now. Get your woman. I right. don't do that. Watch your fucking mouth. Um, <laughs> now that should make me mad. And then he then he proceeds to go. Black women ain't shit. I'm like, yo, they're sitting right here. He ain't Again. sitting on a whisper. <laughs> they're sitting across the table from him. Again, we know the target audience, right? The target audience is older black women, right? Like the the target audience is. The solid voting block for the Democratic Party. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so I get, you know, you want us to hate this character. So you, but like, it's overkill, I think, man. Like, there's no subtlety to you it. Like, there's no. <laughs> like, like, I do God hate him. Damn. Like, you, you got your point across. I do hate him. I just don't understand how that one dude gave no pushback. Like, that's crazy to me. Like, no, nah, you're not gonna just call my wife a, a, a bitch to her to her face and my face. That's crazy. Um, and then Rona's like, "Look, I'm about to flip this table over." And then he was he basically was like, he called her ghetto um, and all this other shit. And then um, he just he just dropped the fucking hammer. He was like, "I want a divorce." Again, yeah, okay. that could have been the end of the movie. Okay, okay? what right. the fuck? Great. <laughs> you're sad. Yeah. Like, I'm wow. Not, I'm not. Like, why would he want a divorce? That's what doesn't make sense to me, yo. It doesn't, it fundamentally doesn't make sense to the story. They don't, they don't show, they don't show why he is aggrieved, right? Like, oh, you're always nagging me. You're always nagging me. Like, that's, that's it. Like, that's it. Like, you ready to to, to drop a nuke on your marriage because, like, she nagged, she nagging you? I just, I'm not buying it, yo. I'm not, I'm not buying any of this. But the, it doesn't the feel like a fully fleshed out relationship, let alone one that I, I don't know, man. Well, and, and okay, so not only does it not feel like a fully fleshed out relationship, 
once the divorce becomes the 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 big joker that's thrown on the table, this nigga starts getting mad. You asked for the divorce. What you mad at me for? <laughs> Behind the papers. Okay. You got him today, right now? Like what the fuck? Like, was it right now? You got a stamp? The only thing that I could the only thing that I could kind of the only way I could square this circle is that he said that as some sort of, you know, mental abuse thing, right? The, the, so that she would be like, no, no, don't, don't divorce me. And, and he comes and she comes running back to him to kind of regain the upper hand. In oh, the like relationship. negging? Yeah, like negging. Yeah, that's the only thing I can think of. But again, I feel like I'm just kind of giving the movie help. more credit than it is. <laughs> yeah. You tried. You working overtime. <laughs> uh, you should be on the you should be on the Tyler Perry Studios payroll. You try. Um yeah, no, it it doesn't make any sense. It just doesn't make sense. So Ava gets big sad, uh Rona drives her home. Uh Ava goes to her parents' house, um which is what you do. Um you know, you got to circle the wagons. You know, I get that. Um, I would hope that my daughter would feel um, comfortable enough to, to to come home if she was going through that shit um, and talk to, to me and my wife. That makes total sense. Um, and this is where I think, Micah, you would say this is where the movie drags, right? For the week that she's... This is the beginning. Yeah, this is the beginning of um, of the, the second act of the movie. And um, it... It's only like, it's only like a half an hour, but boy, it really doesn't feel like it. It really <laughs> doesn't feel like it from, from here to about, to about one Oh five when they go back, when she goes back to Atlanta and goes back to work. And I, I understand the need for this like second act of this movie because this is where all like the character growth happens, mm -hmm. uh, which is fine. Yeah. Right. I don't have a problem with that. I just feel like it's paced a little poorly. Like it just feels like it drags a bit. Sure. Um, when they, when, when they go to the hardware store, uh, for the, the re meet cute, I guess, um, the 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 church scene where there's another meet cute like because they're trying to hook these people up. But this is and... a weird thing. Like, why is there so much pressure? Like, let's say let's yeah, say they, this, they, this is on a Friday said, hey, night. We're getting the divorce. Right. Let's say it, it happens on a Friday. Right, because she's coming home from work. Let's say it's a Friday night that she comes home from the bank and they're supposed to go out, and he's like, "I want to celebrate my divorce." Right, and he drops that that. Uh, that bomb on her. Oh, she goes home for a week. It's like Tuesday, and they're like, you "Should go to the hardware store." Hey, uh, you should go to the the, the fucking church uh, bake sale. I'm like, "Yo, it's been three days." All right, like it's really yeah. weird. Like, yo, relax. Why are you trying to like um, throw this into another relationship together? so no. quickly? Like, come on, man. Right, and this what is where I feel like. Me, right? right, but like this is where I feel like. Has he actually dealt with other human beings before? Like it's really <laughs> weird. Like this is not how this is this is not how relationships end and you know, and then you're into another relationship with someone else. Yeah, I just don't um Yeah, and it would be different if he didn't give like if he didn't give us a timetable. It would be different. Like I could chalk it up to, oh, well, the movie doesn't really tell you how much time has yeah, actually passed but but you're right he says a week the movie says a week that's weird yo like if she was here for like <laughs> a, month. Know, a month took a month sabbatical right to get your head clear right because like in this scene where she's after after she has a heart to heart with her parents she over here running and she's flashing like like two second flashbacks to better times but like it's just like them dancing, right? Or, you know, them uh, uh, fucking. Or for, and it, I don't really get a sense that this marriage was anything but bad. 
And those little two second flashbacks don't really do it. Like you needed to have, you needed to show this, this relationship, even if it was a montage in the beginning of the movie, yeah. you need to show that this relationship was something at first and then they grew apart. Right. And you can For, do that in a movie. Right. For like, some, you need, but you need a pinnacle moment too. Like, right. Like, if you're not going to show sort of them being good and everything else and it slowly devolves over the movie, that's fine. That's a, that's a choice and there's nothing wrong with that. But if you're not going to do that and you're going to do it in like a flashback, something needs to happen. Someone needs to point out a thing that's very specifically happened so that we have a flashpoint to go, oh, it was because of that. Right? Like right. The, the, you know, why did I get married like, one maybe. was the, they lost their child, right? The Janet Jackson character – uh, and her husband, they lost a child and it was, it was kind of her fucking fault, right? Like that was a flashpoint in their marriage that fucked the rest of their relationship, right? They could just never get over it, right? From grief and sadness and blame and all this other stuff. You didn't need to show that. But when you said it, people go, okay, that that's a big enough reason that makes sense. But there's no sense of that. There's just no sense of that at all. You're absolutely right. If you If you did a montage of these people like – getting married right and it was and, and it was a happy time right buying this house right um yeah I, I, maybe trying for a kid and it failed right that that's that's a huge hit right yeah. like that's a huge yeah. blow to a marriage if you want children and then maybe this dude you see a montage of him getting fired right and then you see a montage of them arguing over bills and then like like th that would give me something that would give me something. Instead, no, this nigga's bizarro ass family is is uh, yanking <laughs> yanking dead bodies out of coffins, and and he's just like fuck you, bitch. Like what the fuck? Like what? What? Like this doesn't make any sense, yo. And that I know we back to my point. I'm like, I don't get it. Like it just doesn't add up. Right. You right. can't just and throw I this character at us like this and just. All right, and this something. make me think that that like, she really loves this dude. Like, what the fuck is her, her problem? It makes her it look makes crazy. her look fucking dumb. It makes her look fucking crazy, right? It makes her look fucking dumb. Mm -hmm. Like, like, why would you be in this relationship to begin with? You talking yeah. about you gave Where this did man you twenty all meet? years of your life. <laughs> you 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 gave this man twenty years of your life. So this has been going on for the better half of twenty years, like. Mm -hmm. What the Why? Fuck? You're 37 <laughs> the majority of your life. Right, right. right. Yeah, because you were right. 17. Yeah. Or, yeah. Right. So, okay. All right. Good. Yeah, the the job, the Tom. lack the sort of the lack of any level of detail, even if it's a little bit fuzzy of why he has become who he is, really does throw you in like it it's it throws you into this sort of weird loop, but that's exactly what I said in the beginning. I feel like we're supposed to already have been watching this movie 30 minutes before it started. <laughs> and you're like, when the mom is like, and you ruined his life. I'm like, how? What? What is she yeah, what referencing? She what does she do? She's just standing there. You know what you did. But as an audience member, I, I don't know. <laughs> like, if is there a Wikipedia I could read before this? Is it, you know, it's like, did someone write a prequel book that we missed? Like, what the fuck is this based on? Um, So, yeah, it's... uh. That that lack of information is really weird. Um, and why didn't her and Rocky work out? Because they clearly like have chemistry. Right. Like he clearly likes her. Like, but what the fuck happened with them? With those two? Why did she pick fucking right? Dude? That could have been. That could have been. That could have been part of the montage, right? If they all yeah. were grew, you know, grew up together, and they all met at the same school, even though she he lives literally on the other side of the tracks in a mobile home and and she lives in some fucking plantation house and he lives in a pickup truck i guess like they all went to the they all were zoned for the same school or whatever <laughs> like like they they could have they could have shown they could have shown oh like oh hey uh, the big nigga is really good friends with her, and this dude is is mad jealous, right? Because because he's shooting blanks, and because he don't have a job, and because you know he ain't he don't have huge fucking gigantic arms that make my wife be like, oh oh shit, 
<laughs> it, that that literally take my wife's breath away. Like, God damn! All right, all right, all right. Calm, down. Calm down. please. This is, a, this, is a, this, is a, this is a very personal uh, uh, breakdown of this movie. Like, I'm wow, just right? saying. I'm just saying. I'm just I saying. Like I don't mean to give you all a montage. I don't, I don't like that. Nigga. Fuck. <laughs> I've never watched that Rocky show. Um. Yeah, but like you, you're you're right. It would have been it would have been nice to know that. Like, and again, it doesn't have to be the first 30 minutes of the movie. A montage will give you a lot or just a couple of flashbacks, right? Like that's all you need. And you go, oh, okay. Like if you're slowly revealing stuff about this character, a couple of flashbacks and stories would help to flush it out. And you go, oh, okay. That's why he doesn't like this guy. Oh, that's why they're together. Oh, that's why the brothers are the way they are. Oh, the mom is like this. Then you understand, right? Oh, that was their wedding day. Oh, okay. Like, yeah. Like, you could have easily, all right? And I hate to like sort of rewrite movies, but sometimes his movies are so easy to correct because they just narratively don't make sense. When Rona says to her, to says to Ava in the beginning, oh, well, this is, this is a better situation than your wedding, a flashback could have been that Jim comes in and tries, to, or not Jim, um, what, what's the fucking, big, Benji comes in and he Benji. tries to interrupt the wedding. Right? Like they go to get married and he was like, I love you, blah, blah, blah. And that's when his brothers beat the shit out of him. Right? And so then they'll go, Remember the last time we dealt with you? Right? And you go, Oh shit. Like that's kind of fucked up. That's crazy. And you kind of find out that they had this love and then she ended up being with this dude. That could have been interesting and given them some fucking depth, but you gave them nothing. You just threw them all into a fucking soup and go, Y'all figure it out. Thanks, Tyler. <laughs> so I don't know. Like we could have anyway. This movie. Right. So this one of mine. so <laughs> the, the um so the best friend I forget her character's name Rona, Rona. She um she took it upon herself to write down every bad thing that she saw. Um, mm. uh, what's his name do to her and give it to her, and uh, cause like when you see when you when you see something like that like it really hits home right like it's yep. it's um. That's actually a really good idea. Mm-hmm. Um, it is, and, and 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 I will I will commend uh, Tyler Perry for thinking of it or stealing it. Um, <laughs> and it, I mean, I, you know, it is what it is. And um, she takes it with her, and you know, the mom finds it. And this is probably one of the best scenes in the movie, if not the best scene of these two uh having their their mother daughter moment a a a thing that should have happened uh 20 years ago when she was 17 goddamn years old and decides she wants to get married um and you know it she debbie morgan is 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 kind of putting in work in yeah. in this scene um and she's just like, yo, why didn't you tell me? Like they they really drill down on why people who are in abusive relationships stay in those relationships. Mm-hmm. And I can't believe this scene is in this movie. Like you miss it. You can miss it because it's surrounded by nothing but garbage. Right. Like it's really, it's really, really good. And if if anything, you should, you know, even if you don't want to watch this scene watch or watch this movie you should watch this scene with the context that we've given you because it's really really good and um uh, you know like we're not we she she's like look she's like she ava's like look i'm just trying right i'm trying to have my to 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 be a good wife and 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 gene is like yo this is beyond trying yeah. Like you went through, you went yeah. through all this shit with somebody beating and spitting on you. Like, nah, yo. And, and it, she says, it breaks my heart and I'm sorry. And I, I should have been a better parent. Like this shit is, this shit is really, really good. And you should watch this particular scene, especially if you, if you know somebody or you feel like you, you know, are in a relationship. Like, I, I don't know, man, but like this this is what this is what's frustrating about Tyler Perry. He got, little, it in him. he got it in him. 
like glimpses of of really good like writing glimpses like yeah. fleeting images of really <laughs> good like <laughs> writing and filmmaking and yeah I, his his prompt that he put in the chat gpt must have been fucking lit to get <laughs> uh <laughs> um no it's a it's a very good scene it is um and you're right debbie morgan absolutely does a heavy lifting in this scene she she's she feels I mean, very she, very sincere. she ugly crying she's snotty crying man. yeah she like, is she, <laughs> not since viola davis and fences have we seen something like this jesus Christ. <laughs> um yeah she was like nah this, is, they, this is gonna be a he, one and take look, look, and look he even ends it on a funny joke right the the mother and the daughter are sitting there they are having this moment they are in it they are ugly crying they <laughs> Right, they doing all that shit. Dad, she was like, "I'm not gonna tell your father because your father will kill that man." Right? Dad comes in. He's like, "What's going on here?" Right? And and the mom is like, "We are having our periods." And dad is like, "Jane, you still having a period?" <laughs> right? Y'all <I'm> first <laughs> That shit was funny. Oh. Like it, like that's this. This is the best scene in the movie for me. It's genuinely heartfelt. It's, it's got a funny yeah. joke at the end of it. Like, where is this guy? Yeah. It like again. There are there are moments where you go, you're better than this. Like when you slow down and actually try, you're better than the shit that you put out. You know, like you are. You can't tell me you thirty scripts every ten days, dude. Like, you like sit down and just like focus on one. Like yeah. I get it, worth it, work ethic. I, I, fine, okay, cool. Yo, focus on one script, make it very good, and then fucking produce the movie. Do that. That's well, it. You know, get a writer's room. Like everyone else keeps then saying, you have to write because you can do it. You got yeah. the money. But yeah, the the scene is good. Look, the the whole thing of like, don't tell your father he killed this person. Yeah, look, this is this <laughs> is accurate. Because if I read that list and that should happen to my daughter, I'm gonna go buy a gun. And we're gonna have a conversation. You would spit on my daughter, nigga. Nah, absolutely not. I would yeah, lose my mind. Conversation. No, conversation. don't ever tell me that shit. Like I might just go to prison, dude. No, we I'm going. I'm going. I'm taking my old 65-year-old ass, a former Marine, pastor. I'm going to prison. Cause I wouldn't have gone to that. When he go to that house and he's like, I want to talk to your son. The second that nigga walked within line of sight, I'd have blew his kneecaps right the fuck off. No, we're not having a conversation. No, oh, butter the gun to your forehead. Your kneecaps are done. That's it. Like, yo, we're not having a conversation. And I, I put that shotgun in your mouth. <laughs> Be like, yo, you ever touch my daughter again, I'll fucking blow your head off. Like, fuck all that. Like, that, you know, like again, I don't understand how people interact. I couldn't know that my daughter had been beaten and spit on by some nigga. Like, absolutely not. And this nigga looks shorter than me. Get out of here. No, absolutely. We don't have to. <laughs> no. Yeah, but it is the best scene in the movie. Uh, I do appreciate that her parents have left her room exactly how it was when she grew up. There's like pictures of like Will Smith as the Fresh Prince. On the, yeah, on that's, the, that's fucking hilarious. That's some movie shit, by the way. My, I mean, uh, two days after I moved out of my parents' house, they were already painting. Like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> to a billiard parlor. <laughs> <laughs> get it out of here. Um, oh, shit. <clears throat> But you need like, you know, you need like pool cues that are half the size. Like you just don't have the space. Um, yeah, like, no, my parents, that's my mom's craft room now. She was like, oh, you gone? Get out of here. <laughs> like, it's, it's packed the shit up. Um, yeah, so so she's, she decides that she's going to stay down and, and uh, stay there for uh, a week. She goes with her dad. Her dad's like. Come on, I'm gonna go to the, the the feed store, whatever the fuck it is. Feed I'll store, like, what the fuck kind of farming they still doing down there? Chicken and shit. Like, <laughs> this is like kind of well, I'm, 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 look, I live in the city, yo. Look, what are you a sharecropper, nigga? Like, what is going on? <laughs> <laughs> like, come on. There's a nigga in a cowboy hat right now, listening on his Beats headphones while plowing the fields, <laughs> laughing his ass off. Like these city niggas get on my goddamn nerves. Hey, um, hey, look, I ain't never plowed a field in my life. You're right. I don't know nothing about that shit. Sorry. I don't know about <laughs> harvesting wheat in slow motion in any movies. Um, so so, so uh, while, while they're at the feed store, they run into Benji. And he don't even have sleeves on his shirt. And um, Ava's like, Dad, did you set this up? And Dad was like, huh? 
Discover. Exit stage mm-hmm. right. And yeah, this nigga literally, he literally just don't even have sleeves on his shirt. He had a Stone Cold Steve Austin bullshit. Uh, yeah, um, this was the scene. This was the scene. I mean, what my God, nigga, they are fucking nigga, huge nigga, This fucking big nigga was trying to steal my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Through the screen. <laughs> he's got a lot of charisma. And um, so um, so he's he's like trying to hit on, like not be rude, but he's he's trying to, you know, trying to a little bit hitting on Ava. Um, but again, it's been like three days <laughs> since she got asked to get a divorce. <laughs> and she tells him that. They, it's not even, they didn't even get divorced yet. Yeah. It's not divorced yet. <laughs> you know? yeah. Just He just asked for a divorce. Like He don't even have the paperwork together. And um, he's like, oh, it's good to see you. And I always thought you were too good for him. And But let, you know, let me know if you want to talk about what it's like to be divorced. Because I went through a divorce. And I would love to talk to you about it as we drink whiskey in the back of my trunk truck and you get you know slightly inebriated all right i gotta go and um and so she's like did my did my father tell you i was gonna be here and he's like mm, i'm too good looking and honest to lie sorry uh yeah are you dumb nigga. Don't say no and um then ava walks away and the dad is like that's the best game you got you ever got like, oh. which is pretty funny um so then uh I guess they go to they go to church um whatever day people are to seem to go to church a lot in this town and um her father just seems to just be preaching to her all the time and he's like you know don't worry about it you're going to rise up and, you know and get rid of that old past nigga that you used to be married to and and, and then maybe God's got a plan for you and that plan he's got Beautifully large arms that Micah's wife also enjoys looking at on the screen. Um, but hallelujah, let, let's let, let the choir sing, right? And uh, it's, it's very like under the radar. It's very subtle messaging. And, um, and everyone's very happy and, you know, joyous. Is that the word you guys use on Sundays? And um, sure. yeah, Benji is also at church because he's a good black man and that's what you guys do. And uh, not on the internet, Micah, if you notice, he's there in person. And... Um, <laughs> so there's a they don't story. have in a, they don't have internet in bumfuck Georgia. <laughs> the fuck out of here. <laughs> That's the only reason they're not online. Um, for some reason, um, there's there's a there's a church bake sale because there was always one, and uh, Benji shows up. He's wearing a suit. He looks nice. Um, the suit even has sleeves, so that's cool. Um, and he's like, "Hey, um, Debbie Morgan, if I give you twenty dollars, will you go over there and buy some?" Big goods from my daughter because shit is kind of dry and not very good. And uh, my, my my kid could use a little bit of encouragement. And um, she's like, okay, I'll go. And meanwhile, she leaves Ava to uh, to talk to um, uh, Johnny Swole over here. And um, so, you know, he's like, once again, if you'd like to talk about divorce while flexing, um, you know, <laughs> let me know. And uh, you and I can hang out in the back of my truck. She's like, all right, I got to go. Um, also, she's dressed very nice for church in a, like, you're dressed way too hot for this church type of way. Um, and then she tries one of his daughter's cookies and she almost dies. So it's, like, it's like one of those Popeye biscuits. She was dry as fuck. And he was like, look, I told you, I'm on the line. I'm a good man. Yeah, she she damn sure is drinking a bottle of water, too. God damn. <laughs> so she, she couldn't wait to get to that bottle of water. See, that's what you get. His daughter's a terrible cook. It's because he she doesn't have a good woman around to teach her how to be. Yeah, yeah. She's gonna grow up to be a modern woman, guys. Yeah. Modernity <laughs> is the uh is the terror of uh of the woman. Everyone knows that, according to Tyler Perry or whatever. Um and and so her parents are like, you know, Benji divorced that girl he was with. You know, if that's what y'all modern kids like to do, get a divorce and then go have sex with each other. Just saying. Um and, and you know, Ava says the right thing. Can y'all stop pushing him on me? It's been like three days. What the fuck is your problem? Um, and they're like, you right. <clears throat> I mean, we're going to still do it, but like, but you right. And um, and so they, they have this like heart-to-heart talk with her that, that I think is actually pretty good. Um, the dad shows her video um, of how happy she was 
uh, as a kid and as a young adult uh, before she married um, Dallas. This By is the way, uh, person this playing. Is the yeah. video digitally yeah. restored. Thank you, nigga. <laughs> Thank you. This is the most high definition VHS vi- film I've ever seen. Because she's not like it's not like she's twenty. Like, <laughs> like she's thirty-seven. So this she would have been like in the in the in the late nineties into the mid two thousand. Also, they didn't even find a girl who looked even remotely like Megan Good. They didn't even try. This digital footage footage is amazing. I mean, look, shout out to Tyler Perry for at least showing the footage in four three. Like, yeah, yo, it's just right, it's not going to be at sixteen by nine wide. <clears throat> they just throw some scan just... lines in this. Shit. <laughs> That's all he did. They really oh, did. Man. They God, threw that shit damn, in. They, they threw that shit in Canva, and they were like, "Be done with us." <laughs> like, like nigga, there's a there's a there's a a, a newspaper oh, in the back a, that says 2024. Oh, like, don't worry about it. <laughs> don't worry about it. There's a video of the wedding where his, his mother slapped the fucking bouquet out of her hand. Bitch, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> like, come on, man. But again, again, why? Why? What the fuck? Yeah, why would you do that? This is how you my this is how your marriage why started. Would you, why would you marry into this family? Like, what the fuck? Like, yeah, if if my sense. mother-in-law smacked like like smacked the like what is the, the 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 what's the thing that the guys have? Um what, like a corsage on your on your lapel or something? No, shit? what is yeah, what is it called for a guy? It's like a – ah, I can't remember the fucking name. But like if she just grabbed it and ripped it off my suit at my wedding, I'd be like and my wife was like like, all right, I, we need to have also, a conversation. Was, like, what the fuck is going on? We were like, time out. Also, like, time out. <laughs> Technical foul. Oh, what the fuck also, is going on? <laughs> just, to go, just to go back to what Jim was talking about, um, this nigga said that, well, at least it wasn't as bad as your wedding. Nigga, there was no bodies being carried out at the at the wedding. Like, I mean, that's this it? Like, what? What? There had to have been more. Did somebody get an RKO in, <laughs> into the cake? Like, what the fuck happened? <laughs> Smacking oh, the bouquet out of her hand uh, while she's standing there is crazy. That's just absolutely nuts. Nice. I've been like, okay. Um, That's not. <laughs> like, okay, this out. is a little strange. Yeah. I don't think I need this. Never like, mind. Where, where was Dallas? I'd be like, like, mom, don't do that. Dallas was like, I mean, is she right though? Like, you're gonna still marry this nigga? All right. Um, so her dad is like, look, you never seemed happy. The second you married this the into that family, you never were happy. You look miserable. Here's a video of you looking miserable. Here, look, look, look. Enhance, enhance, enhance. Look at your face. Look at it. You look terrible. Um <laughs> and um, you know, and she said, Look, I basically was trying to do what you guys taught me, right? Which is, you know, stand by your man and, you know, be a good wife and, you know, and all that. And um, they were like, yeah, we taught you to like do all those things, but like, that's not what this is. This is fucked up. Um, yeah, her father's like, yo, I've, you've never seen me treat your mother like that. What the fuck is like, come on, you know? Like, yeah, we said that, but like, you've never seen me treat your mother like a piece of shit. Look, I, I got to admit, I like that line a lot. Like you've never seen me treat your mother like that's a good line. That, that's a good line because yeah. you your the way you see your parents' relationship is how you generally operate your relationships when you get married, right? Like, and that's why when people say, "Oh, you want to f- see how people are like as a potential spouse?" Look at their parents. You're like, "Ooh, mm-mm. <laughs> like <laughs> because look, that's that's all they know. It's not necessarily good or bad. It's just what is normalized to yeah. a person, right?" Um. And so, yeah, it's uh, that was a good line. Like, this is a this is another decent moment in the movie. It's not as good as the the other moment uh, with Gene and Ava, um, but this is this is probably the second best. Like, again, non carrying a body out of a funeral uh, while everyone is screaming moment. Um, and he says, "Like, look, I, <laughs> look, uh, Richard Lawson is fucking wild in this movie because he's like, look, I tell your mother how beautiful she, beautiful she is every day. I kiss her every day." <laughs> I make, and she was like, Clarence, relax, my nigga. And he was like, tap that ass. Like, I eat your mama's pussy every day. And that's what your <laughs> man need to be doing. <laughs> Look how happy she is. Look at the face. Look at the face. 
She don't look as miserable as you. When's the last time you had it? Like, all right, dad, relax. Um, and so, yeah, he's like, yeah, you don't ever let a man treat you like that. And you know what? And then he called her family trifling because he's black, <laughs> which I appreciate. Um, and then we see a number of uh, scenes of, of Ava just going for a jog. It's fine. Yeah. That's fine. I get why she was the mystery number on uh, that goofball nigga she's dating's phone, probably. Uh, <laughs> right. Though she was the number, yo. Like, knock it off. Yeah, who are you man, talking to? Like, who are you talking to? Uh, this is Megan Good. Don't worry Goodbye. About it. See? Yeah, why the fuck are you even talking to this white girl? Like, what the yeah, fuck? Like, the fuck is your you? problem, you dork? <laughs> dork ass loser? <laughs> it's still been in the MCU if you had the balls to just walk away. But you didn't. <laughs> You had to cheat. That was stupid. Um, so then they go to um, Ava goes with her parents to the local fair. Um, good grief, she looks great. Um, and they're there, and lo and behold, Benji's there. Surprise, surprise! And he's there showing his farm animals or whatever it is you do in the south. Um, and he's there with his his daughter, and and she's like, oh. Yeah, it's good to see you. Is this another setup? He's like, no. Like, I'm legitimately here. It's not my fault. You see my arms. And um, and so, like, they kind of hit it off. And she's like, all right. Turns out you ain't a piece of shit. Uh, you're not just trying to push up on me. And so um, he he immediately dumps his daughter off with his um, his daughter's mother um, to try to get laid. Because that's what guys do. <laughs> he was like, go to your mother. So I'm taking this woman to the woods. Um, and so, yeah, he um, he takes uh, Ava to the woods in a, a scene that feels like Jason Voorhees is going to come out and murder both of them. Um, and they do what I guess you do in the South. You uh, you sit in the back of a pickup truck, listen to, what was it, James Aldean or some other fucking country music. <laughs> I don't know. I don't listen to country music. Um, J.J. McCall. And... Um, and they listen to some country music song and he's like, yeah, this is uh, this one really helped me through my divorce. And it's like, you know, whatever it is, country music people talk about trucks and sadness and what have you. Um, and she's like, oh, that was really good. And then she's like, oh, it's too bad we don't have a bottle of whiskey. And he was like, <laughs> already hit of you. Let's get drunk and make bad decisions. Um, and so she starts just drinking whiskey and she's like, ooh. This is rough. And then she just proceeds to drink several more chugs of it. I was like, I guess you got over it. God damn. Um, and then <laughs> then she tries to fuck him. And he's like, no, I'm a good man. So I'm going to kiss you on your forehead and uh, just let you fall asleep. <laughs> and that's how you know this is a movie. <laughs> because most guys would not do that. Most guys would not do that. They would just be like, oh, she drunk. Oh no! <laughs> like they would just take advantage of her, you know. Like, and it, it, and I'm glad that they have this scene about consent and everything else. That's great, but that's how you know it's a movie because <laughs> guys are scumbags. Um, look, you're not taking a woman all the way out to the woods um, to be like, oh, I didn't afford it. All right, go home and yeah, knock it off. It's a lie. Um, so yeah, he's like, look, what did he? <laughs> she was like, I want you, and and he's like. I don't want to have, he's like, I don't want to, I don't want to uh, have sex with you. And she's like, wow, you're making me like really feel bad. He's like, look, I'm interested. And, and then he goes, look at me. And he, he focuses his eyes downward. And he's like, look at me. I'm interested. I was like, all right. <laughs> like, that was a little ridiculous. <laughs> look at my dick. I'm hard. We got it. Thanks. Um, <laughs> which is just fucking hilarious to me. Um, and then he, like, she falls asleep and he makes a fire and makes her coffee. like. Is this nigga from Planet X? This is fucking weird. Um, and then she, I guess, drinks the coffee and she's like, oh, that's great. This feels so much better. Um, he's like, all right, let me get you home before the sun comes up. You know, I don't want your daddy thinking bad about me. I feel like her dad would be like, cool, did you fuck him in the back of the truck? Great. That sounds awesome. Get a divorce. Yeah, you're, you're, <laughs> like, get it over. Your dad, was trying to, your dad was trying to hook, you, hook us up, bro. Right. Like, he gets it. Yeah. <laughs> Your dad trying to have like, a, a son-in-law with big arms. Like, let's go. Right. You're yeah. trying to have grandkids, man. I'm 37. Yeah. <laughs> like, as as uh, as as uh, Ava said that um, 
that uh, her scumbag husband said earlier, don't nobody want no 40 year old P word. Yeah, like, it's, like uh, come yeah. on, Tyler. Look, 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 look. Agree P to word. disagree. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. No. There's I a whole wanna... category of pornography that disagrees with you. Yes, 100%. <laughs> it's one of my favorites. One of my personal favorites. <laughs> look, the, the, the reality here is um, look, if you're 20 years old and you're beautiful, that's good for you. Good for you. You, sh you should be. I need a woman who's got some lines in her face. She's seen some shit. Like, I, look, I find it way more attractive. I find it <laughs> way more attractive. And um, she's what? Playing 36? Megan Good looks great. She looks great. She got nothing to be ashamed of. How old is Megan? Good. 43? 42, 43? She's probably in her 40s. Probably. Like 41. Oh yeah, she's like my age. Yeah, she's probably just a little bit younger than me. You know. uh, look, I, look, I don't see Jonathan Majors being mad about it. And that dude's like 35. Yeah. The way he was dancing around in that video, he seemed pretty happy. I mean, he dances like an asshole. Um, <laughs> he dances like he's never used his limbs in, uh, in public before. Um, yeah, she'll be 43 next month. Sounds good to me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, so then the day that they go to sign the divorce papers, um, Ava decides to uh, wear something provocative which is right out of my wife's fucking playbook. Because when my wife got a divorce back in the day, she was like, she wore the sexiest outfit she could to her divorce, like, fuck you. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So, look, I get it. Show your shit off. Like, mm, you, look what you'll never see again. Um, and so uh, she came in. I mean, that's is like the club gear. It was a little weird, but, you know. Is this the? Oh, okay. All right. I see what scene you're on. Yeah, where she's yeah. wearing that pink dress. Yeah. I'm one scene before where she goes back to work. What the fuck kind of bank is this? <laughs> <laughs> Why? What's the? Oh, you know what? Let's go back to that scene because he shows up at the bank, right? Um, no, I don't think this is the scene we should doing a lot of this. This is when she first comes back with the green. Um, the green house. Yeah, he comes. Yeah, he oh, shows wait, up. He does, right. Oh, he does come. Yeah, he, yeah, he, he does. He's not pointing everybody and shit. Like, kill you. Right, because his brother shows him a picture of her and Benji at the That's fair. The fair. And he's all freaking out. He he's like, yeah, he oh, she's been fucking him the whole time. And look, yeah, I, he pulls up the bank. Look, I'm not gonna lie. Rona has the best line in this scene. And he was like, "Look, you better get out of the way." She was like, "You think I gotta fuck about this job? I gotta fuck you. about this job." <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, God damn, in front her, of all the customers? Okay. Yeah. Her white manager was like, excuse me? He was just like, you got it. Don't worry about it. Relax. I was for, it was hyperbole for effect, right? Um, <laughs> yeah, that shit was that, like, yeah, her, uh, her, her, her nigga came out immediately <laughs> when he pointed at her face. She was fucking done. Um, she was like, leave, bounce, go. Like, Mugawa, nigga. Like, get out of here. Um, <laughs> she got really fucking mad. So he's like, sign the, sign the papers, Ava. Like, he came in acting like it was like a, a wrestling promo. Like, sign on the line and it's dotted. Like, bro, the appointment is tomorrow. Why are you here yelling at me? I'm going to be there. Um, and so, yeah, she uh, she came the next day, uh, her and her friend, in their, like, uh, come fuck me outfits. So, you know, look, respect. <laughs> uh, look, I, I, like, I like a good trolling. And... Um, and so he's sitting there um, with his Carhartt special shit on. And, um, and she's like, all right, cool. Where do I sign? Fuck you. And um, and so then he's like, oh, you don't see me sitting here? And she's like, look, everybody, the, the other men in the room stood up when we walked in. You're trifling ass ain't uh, do nothing. Is that what you're supposed to do? Is that what you're supposed to do? When yes, walk you're, supposed to, you're supposed to stand up when people walk into a room. <laughs> Is she Judge Wapner? No, fuck off. Get the fuck out of here, nigga. Like, what are you talking about? No. Yes. You're supposed, you're supposed to stand up. You're supposed to, you're supposed to walk on the street side. My right? leash. Fuck like, off. <laughs> you know, I'm not doing that. that. You, know, you do that, Micah? Yeah. It's you do just that? standing up. It's not genuflecting. You know? No, like, no. Nah. Mi Micah, Micah does Micah. the hand roll. Oh, my <laughs> wife is home. Up. You don't stand up and shake somebody's hand when they walk into a room? Yeah, if I'm a shake Not, a, not hand, if it's a girl. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> like if, if, I'm, if it's 
No. Like, no. if I'm all the way across the fucking room, nah, fuck that. I'm not. No. You are you <laughs> in a, bu- you in a business me? meeting? In, in the business meeting, yes, I may stand up to shake a person's hand, but like just right. to stand like, and then sit back down. No. As soon as they walk in, you don't even do like the half. This ain't cool, nigga. Like, what the fuck? No. <laughs> you don't do like the half. Like, uh, uh, okay, right. <laughs> no. <Nah. laughs> you don't even do that. No. Well, I need to do all that. I wouldn't expect them niggas to do that shit for me. Like, why Terrence is that? here. Oh my god! Oh, wow. I'm sorry. Like again, do, do maybe you, I wasn't raised right. Um, no, do y'all do you agree? Do you, agree. So, you know. agree? do you walk on the street side? Do you walk yes, on the 100%. street side? I do do. That. I do. I do that. I do. All right. All right. Like, like that. All right. Yeah. God, damn. <laughs> like, Jesus no, I'm not Christ. a complete <laughs> asshole. Like fuck you. I, yeah, I walk. I walk is. on the street side, well, and she walks behind me. Dever, that's isn't that what you guys do? No. But here's the thing. It's not like I'm fucking bulletproof. It's not like my bones are fucking like, nah, if, we, if I get hit by a car, I'll be just as fucked up as she is. But like, <laughs> it's just ingrained in us, you know? Yeah. Yeah. The walking on the street side is just some shit. It, it doesn't make any sense, really. None of that makes any fucking sense, really. I think I think it only made like sense when there was carriages, thing. right? So you get clipped. And she she might have a horse. Might, yeah, you, you, you probably yeah. would die, but she might survive. Now, when the Buick was invented, that shit went out the window. <laughs> Two thousand plus pounds. If I get hit, I am only a paper thin defense against you dying too. Just know that I'll go first. Congratulations. Um. So yeah, yeah when I saw that line, I was like, "Wait, what? Are you supposed to stand up when they're walking in? Really? Stand up when I'm coming in? Doing shit all wrong, huh? <laughs> okay. Well, um, you do yes, that. Like, like for real, you really do that? Like you legitimately? Yeah, I'll do stand that? up with somebody. I'll stand up when somebody comes in. He yeah. worked for like if I don't know them, if I don't know them, yeah, I'll stand up. Like if my wife would have come in here right now, no, I would not stand up. And Yo, that would be wild. Them. You know, I'm gonna text her right now. Like, <laughs> walk in. <laughs> <laughs> right. Hey, honey. Uh, like, oh, sorry, guys. Uh, can we pause? Uh, <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't. I yesterday I, I opened the door for her, but like I don't do it every day. Right, like, like for, if, if I'm a car door, car? yes, a car door. Was like she wearing I'm a walking, formal dress? If we were coming from from our children's daycare, if we are walking this toward the car, <laughs> if we are walking, I'm a sim for my wife. Yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is walking with old wife. Not a bitch ass nigga is he? He love her. And shit. That's gay as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the internet. Would yeah, say. If, we're, if we're walking towards the passenger side. I'll open the door and let her in. But like, if we walking toward the driver's side and I'm driving, like, no, you can go around. I'm not going around and then coming all the way back around. That's just poor efficiency, right? <laughs> like, do, right. now do you do you like if you're walking towards the passenger side, you open the car door. Now, do you do like do you slide across the hood like Dukes of Hazard style, or you just walk around the back like some sort of punk ass bitch? It depends. I, I walk around the front because like. I am walking around the back. It's further to go around back, like like less efficient. And it depends on whose car it is. Like if it's her car, then yeah, I'm like it. Yeah, you do the Dukes of Hazzard slide, of course. Obviously, you're yeah. an adult. <laughs> <laughs> you were raised properly. Get out of here. Um, so Rona's like, all right, cool. I'm glad you wore your your um fuck 'em girl, fuck 'em dress. And um and he's big mad, by the way. This nigga is super angry he's like you see how she signed the papers for divorce like i offered to her and i had been wanting her to do and showed up at the bank and demand that she was being there what kind of bitch was signing the papers like bro this is a self-correcting problem you asked for this um and uh jim is there why why is jim why? there on his Again, side like i got a jim is the like jim more is support the... from my friend no fuck I that he's a piece of shit bro I thought Jim was his lawyer. I thought Jim was his lawyer, and the white guy was like the mediator between the two. Why the what fuck is Jim? Is his Jim a lawyer? I that's what I got from from this movie. I thought that he was his lawyer and friend. I don't know. How was he a lawyer and his friend? Where did they meet? <laughs> like, why are they still hanging out? <laughs> <laughs> like they've known each other since they were kids. Is, so, is, you know, he's his lawyer is he now. only their lawyer because they have so many criminal activities in that family? It's keeping him uh, quite paid. Like they don't have the money. Who knows? They got this dude on retainer. Um. So, so she's like, "All right, girl. Um, now that we, you know, 
you know, now that we sign these papers. Again, by the way, when you sign those papers, that's not how a divorce works. Like, you don't just sign it and then like, that's it, everybody. Like, did you go to like Puerto Rico to do this shit? Like, or Vegas? Like, no, <laughs> that's not how it works. You go talk to a judge. Um, so they sign the papers or whatever. I guess that means they're divorced in Tyler Perry's uh, world. And Rona takes her to um, back to her place. And she's like, look, take this uh, this weed gummy. It's five milligrams. That's not a lot. Um, and um, we're going to have a good time. And she walks in and all of her friends are there. All of them are like, yay, finally. Um, you got away from this scumbag nigga. And then they were just like, hey, you know what would be really cool? Jim's here too. And he's a man. And Jim's got to feel kind of a way because then they just start bringing in a bunch of shirtless niggas. Um, I, I was like, I don't like his, I like a little bit of my toxic masculinity came out. I was like, yo, this is kind of wild, my nigga. Like if I was Jim and like, what's her name? And, and she also brought Benji in there. We're going to, I'd have been like, I don't need to be here. Yeah. Like have your, going on? have your fun. Have your fun. I'm not, right. like, like, I'm not mad at you for I'm having leaving. fun. But right. why I, would, just, I just wouldn't be there. Yeah, why I'm gonna be in the basement. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be in the basement playing 2K. The fuck? Yeah, right. Like, what is, what's going on? I don't need. Hey, what's going on? Uh, my wife got a bunch of half naked niggas up there, and they just having a good time. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, you picking up the second controller or not? Like, all right, you bet. That, that, oh, what shit. are we going to do? Like, it was just weird. Like. Like Jim, Jim yeah, is again, up, or, like Tyler Perry. Like he, he had to throw one scene with a bunch of half naked niggas in there. <laughs> right, like does, Benji, <laughs> Benji's up there, like trying to do a little two stuff. I'm like, this swole ass nigga is next to you with no shirt on. This is weird. <laughs> like, why is why am I at your fucking bachelorette party? I'm it's glad I wasn't the only one because I was like, yo, this this, this is something ain't right here, dog. This is fucking weird. Do you, like, what do you why guys think? Yeah, what do you guys think mm-hmm. of? And by the way. I guess five milligrams is enough for her because she's immediately grinding up on Benji. I guess maybe, um, you know, uh, all the swole half naked dudes. Pothead. Yeah. Like she was just like, like she didn't even want to say, she didn't even want to say pussy at the beginning of the movie. Like I'm sure five milligrams kind of fucked her up. Yeah. I mean, she was just like, I don't know what's happening. So she's grinding up on uh, Benji. Everything is going good. Um, and then they come to find out, like, oh shit, son, crazy's here. Um, yeah, y- your boy Dallas is outside, sitting in the sitting in the truck, um, trying to figure out what's going on. I I love that he doesn't just come up to the house, which is weird. He's just, he's just sitting outside and shit. And he's well, like, hey man, trespassing if he comes up to the house. Uh, yeah, I guess. And um, he's like, yo, she's too happy about that divorce, like. She she wanted to get a divorce. Like, yeah, you asked for the divorce. And he and Jim is like, Jim's like, yo, but you asked for it. He goes, nigga, pick a side. You my friend. Like, yo, <laughs> yo, yo, nigga, yo, we're 40. Not, yo, we're right, 40. That's not friends work, yo. Like, what the fuck? Like, Only I'm trying to be your father. <laughs> All right, nigga. He's like, you weird, yo. Again, how do we meet? Remind me. Um, and why, why the fuck are we still friends? And um and so he's like, um, she didn't want me, and uh, I guess it doesn't matter now. Yo, she married you after your mother smacked the bouquet out of her hand. <laughs> I would say she wanted you real bad, and there might be something wrong with her. And um, so he's like, all right, um, oh, you got you got you got a party going on <laughs> in there? He's like, yeah, yeah, some ladies. He's like, well, that's just what I need. I need some pussy. I need to meet some women. And I, I appreciated Jim's way of handling it. He literally just like, as Dallas goes to open the door, he just closes his like, nah, big dog, relax. <laughs> like, go sit in the car. You good. Um, it's like, you're drunk. Let me drive you home. He's like, nah, I'm coming in. I'm trying to see what's going on. And he's like, look, is, uh, is Ava in there? And, and so he kind of, you know, pushes, uh, pushes past and he comes in or he goes to try to get into the party. And I guess what? He... It doesn't work, right? He's he's like, look, you gotta. Yeah, fuck he it. just drives off. He drives okay. off. He's like, you're drunk. He's like, you're drunk. Let me drive you home. And he was like, no. He was like, all right. And he was just like, Pshum. like, uh, okay. <laughs> That's the luck, your friend. Right? You, you just let your drunk friend uh, drive home, and while he's emotionally fucked up. All, all right. right. 
That sounds like someone else's problem. <laughs> I'm going back to the party <laughs> with the half naked dudes that I'm super excited to be in my house. Um, so then, um, I guess the, they, they leave the party. Um, uh, Benji and Ava leave the party mm-hmm. and look, she's like, look, I have five milligrams of, uh, drugs. Um, and as a Christian woman, that's all the drugs I've, um, I need to make, uh, controversial decisions. And so she's like, look, I'll fuck you, but uh, just know that this is just about sex. It's not about a relationship. And the, the good guy was like, bet. <laughs> like he didn't even know <laughs> anything. Not since The Rock told you that Megan the Stallion was the woman he wanted to be a pet for has a man <laughs> answered the question so quickly. Um, and so she... He, he's, first, he was like, look, you can sleep on the couch. It's, it's late. You can sleep on the couch. He's like, nah, fuck that. This is not going to work. It took everything. It, it, it was like, it was by the grace of God. I sleep with you in that truck the other night. I was like, damn, nigga, what the fuck? Yeah, he, <laughs> like, he, he needed divine intervention. Spot. Yeah, he was getting bold as fuck at this thing. I'm fucking shorty yeah, in the truck. Okay. He was, just, he, was like, cool. fuck all, he was like, fuck all this. Like, uh, no, nah, it's time for me to be a man now. Get the fuck I, out of here. I want I, you, and I'm going to have you. <laughs> like, the you can do it the good way? Oh, yeah, that um, couch shit ain't going to work. I'm trying to smash. What's up? <laughs> well, I mean, that's fine. Just know it's not going to be a relationship. We're just going to be fucking. I'm like, Okay. <laughs> Say less. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. I mean, again, that's why I said the truck scene is like, I'm just going to kiss you on your forehead. Yo, he was, when she was asleep, he was banging his erection against that bumper. I guarantee you, like, God damn it. <laughs> right? And now he was like, nah, fuck that. Look, I'm not going to let the opportunity pass me by two times. That's crazy. Um, and then they um, they have unprotected sex, which, you know, is against God. <laughs> and um, so, yeah, good for him. And apparently uh, she wore his ass out because this nigga's still asleep the next day. And and she she's up, dressed, and ready for ready for life. She's she got on yellow, so she all happy and shit, smiling. And she walks downstairs, and here is Dallas angrily eating um honey nut crunchies or whatever it is. Um and uh, oh excuse me, honey toasted crunchies. And um he's like, Hey. Yeah, I'm in my. <laughs> Yo, this like, thing, he's a fucking such a villain, dude. <laughs> yeah, and she's like, I changed all the locks. He goes, No locks are gonna stop me from getting into my house, nigga. We signed the divorce papers. Like, you asked for this. Get the fuck out of my house. And uh, again, don't you have a job to go to? And so he's like, Look here, Ava. Uh, I love you, and I'm gonna give you a second chance. Nigga, what kind of delusional psycho shit is this? Um. I'm thinking about giving you another shot. That's a wild thing to say to somebody that you ask them for the divorce. <laughs> cool. Mm-hmm. I'm willing to forgive all that shit with you and Benji. Oh, really? And and look, she she's she kind of feeling herself a little bit. She's like, um, you haven't re- you haven't met the real me. You brought the the bitch out me. Like, go fuck yourself. Um. Apparently she met him when she was 13 and made bad decisions all the way up until like six minutes ago. Um, and so actually, <laughs> right, that's 23 years. Yeah. You, you haven't met the real me. Poor I mean, like, technically I think he kind of has. Um, and she, and he's like, I'm gonna go upstairs and take a shower. And she's like, I wouldn't recommend it. I'm just saying Snake's arms are a lot bigger than yours. Um, she walks upstairs she don't seem to be that concerned about it. And then he sees uh, Benji in there. He's like, oh, like, no, don't, don't, don't go upstairs. Huh? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> this big nigga sitting in our bed. Yeah, and she's like, like Rocky Johnson is sitting up there. <laughs> quite literally. <laughs> the fucking funny thing is, he's like, get your nigga, get your ass up. And he, he sucker punches him a couple of times. And then, like, after... After this big dude gets his bearings, he proceeds to pick him up and throw him against like a fucking um, piece of furniture, a um, fucking boudoir, nigga. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yo, his legs, his feet left the room. <laughs> like, that was some disrespectful oh, shit. Um, that is hilarious. Yeah, look, look I get it. You gotta, you gotta get your, you gotta get your, your punches in before the, while this nigga's groggy. I understand that. 
Um, uh, yeah, because this nigga put the fucking million dollar dream on him and just took him <laughs> out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this, this shit was a wrap. He was like, get the fuck out of here. Um, I know his back hurt too. Is that shit hit the corner too? God damn. Yeah, he hit the corner that motherfucker. He's like, oh, ah, well, adrenaline. Yo, he he, <laughs> he, 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 he fucking picked him up like I throw my boys around on the bed, yo. Just like, <laughs> oh shit. And so then he proceeds to, um, and again, this dude is a lot bigger than Dallas, yo. He's like a, a significantly larger than him. And he proceeds to just choke him out. Bro, this is a big nigga, yo. <laughs> like, he is a large individual, yo. They got him to play Rocky Johnson in a fucking television show. <laughs> Which is hilarious. Um, oh, man. So he proceeds he's gotta to. He's got to be at least like 6'3. He's big. He's Easily. A big fucking guy. He's a big fucking dude. And um, he proceeds to choke him out. And then, look, I guess Ava's really strong. She drags this dude around the house. <laughs> so this dude is either... He uh, dragged his ass down the steps. Yeah, like his head would be he all... Ain't even he, just, he was like, yo, she wild. Like, she got yeah, he was like, you good? I'm a little tired. I'm a little winded. Give me a, give me a second. Um, I did appreciate, like, here's this like church girl. And she's like, uh, you don't want to listen because Dallas never wants to listen. She was like... You want to take a shower? How was your shower, nigga? <laughs> She's dragging him down the stairs, <laughs> which is hilarious. Uh, get the fuck out of my house, which is, again, these are things that I would not have expected to hear from a Tyler Perry movie. And and meanwhile, Benji is just standing there like, you, damn. You good? You good? <laughs> like, You're... relax. She's like, help me. Like, we we carrying what seems to be a dead body out of, a, out of your house. This is a bit odd. And then he does something that I find deeply disrespectful. He just picks this this motherfucker up like a little kid. Fireman carries him. Fireman carries him. And this person carries him. Throws his ass in the fucking truck. Nah, oh, yo. That's, oh. Look, look. He deserved it. Um, but like, come on, dog. Like, he's still a man, yo. Like, you ain't had to treat him like that. <laughs> yo, that was just fucked up. And then after he's sitting in the truck, uh, Megan, uh, Megan Good starts smacking him on his face. Get your ass up. And then slams the door and cracks the cracks the uh the window. Uh and Benji's like, uh, uh this is fucked up and we shouldn't have done that. She's like, a lot of, I'm sorry you had to see that. There's a whole lot of force behind that door slam to <laughs> yeah. crack a car window. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> no, this thing I know what a car window is feels like. Like, god yeah. damn. Yeah, you can damn near take a hammer to it and it won't break. <laughs> that's how mad she was. And then she's like, um, Benji's like, uh, okay, that's like really serious. We need to talk about this. And she's like, uh, the door locks on its way out. I have to go to the bank. Okay. <laughs> um, and this beat up nigga is sitting in this pickup truck outside of the bank when Rona uh, walks, in, walks into the office. Again, I feel like people need to call the police a little bit more in uh, this story. I feel like that would have been an okay thing to do. Um, we'll fast forward a little bit. Um, Jim sh- shows up and he's like, hey, man, um, w- w- what you doing, big dog? Like, come on, man, get out of here. And he's like, fuck you, all right? It's like, okay. Um, meanwhile, Dallas drives back to his uh, little horse, t- one horse town, um, and he sees um, uh, Ava's mom, uh, Jean. And he starts well, one thing you, you one thing you skipped that's kind of a he poisoned this nigga's livestock or whatever the fuck. Oh right, right, <laughs> yeah. Apparently he, po- he poisoned uh, Benji's animals, and like the sheriff automatically knew what it was. It's like apparently the, the livestock been poisoned. It's like what? Fuck well, that just, know that. I mean, that's just how but it happened. It had to be Dallas. Okay. Well, there yeah, probably was also Dallas. also yeah. like. This farm is like an hour and a half outside of Atlanta, right? Like, they are doing a lot of fucking driving. Yeah. (laughs) And I know it's Atlanta, and like Atlanta, like you kind of have to drive everywhere. But like, cooler heads didn't prevail during the 90 minutes it took from you to decide, you know what? I'm sitting here in this bank. I got a perfect idea. I'm going to murder his livestock with poison. So you just, so, so you go get the poison. When did he do it? <laughs> that was driving. my thing when I saw 
When did when you, you stop? When when you you stopped at the feed store, you fucking city slickers. You don't know anything. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Like it just, that's a that's a that's a that's a certain level of of like hate. Yeah, that, ninety minute uh, driving by yourself to stewing. <laughs> to go poison, put some cyanide, some bird feed, whatever the fuck. Did. <laughs> whatever. I don't know what the fuck was going on. But we don't know. I guess he did it that night in the country yeah. when they like they was like dancing with the strippers in the house. When he left, I guess he drove ninety minutes. Yeah. To <laughs> God wherever, knew. bum fuck wherever and with some back. poison because he had prepared then he came back the next morning to the house to the house so he had already done it overnight right yeah i guess okay look sure. look when you're dedicated you're dedicated um so then um he draws another 90 minutes um back out to um one horse town and he goes to the grocery store i assume it's the only grocery store they have in town uh the local piggly wiggly and um I don't know what the South is like, guys. And um, and so he they, he they, run- have, they have Publix down there. They have Publix. But oh, this, in this thing looks this thing looks really raggedy. No, it's so a I'm gonna call it, <laughs> it's, it's So I'm going to call it a Publix anyway oh, to they offend bad. the people who love Publix. Yeah, <laughs> uh, this place has really great hoagies. I, I ain't guess. never seen so many people attached to a goddamn grocery store. Like what the <laughs> fuck? It's very strange. Yeah. Um, so inside the uh, the local Publix, uh, this filthy, filthy Publix, as all of them are, um, he Priors. goes up. <laughs> prior supermarket. Um, Dallas goes up to Gene because he's like, oh, yeah, that's right. I knew you were going to be here on Tuesday because that's what you do. That's what old people do. You had the same place every time. And she's like, I'm a woman of God. How dare you? And he's like, your daughter's acting like a bitch. It's like, Jesus Christ, relax. Um, and so he's like, yeah, um, yeah, so I'm going to just, I'm going to harass you and, and, you know, and just treat you like shit. And then he grabbed this old woman by her arm and, and he's, and she's like, let go of my arm, let go of my arm. And he's like, nah, you know, like, fuck you, you fucking fool or whatever. And, and he just treats this old lady like shit. By the way, this white woman who works at the grocery store is sitting there watching it. Fucking useless. Call security, you psycho bitch. What the fuck's wrong with you? Useless. What the fuck? Like, this ain't a zoo, you racist bitch. Like, call the fucking cop. <laughs> I, I did appreciate that Dallas's character is mad. He's he's mad anyway, but I think, like, the black actor was like, you know what? How you ain't called the cops? Like, he's mad at the actress, and he was like, the fuck you looking at? And the white girl was like, oh, <laughs> she was like, I didn't even know this was a movie. I just thought all these black people were wild. Um, Yo, he, Dallas is so mad, right? He's so mad. He wants to cause damage in the store, but not mad enough that he'll only knock over one container of fucking ramen noodles. And that's it. <laughs> yeah. No, nah, yo, like. That's like, how you know it's a real you, grocery like, store, by the way. Uh, Right. Yeah. And Tyler was like, right. nope, we're not paying for all this shit, nigga. Like, uh, I ain't cleaning this up. <laughs> you knock over that one piece of dinner, one roll of toilet paper, and that's it. Right. Yeah. You, you knock over have, I'll pay for one, one dry box of ramen. Yeah, that's it. Fun. And you better make sure that shit is on tight. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I'm not in here sweeping up. He's like, I got a billion dollars for a reason because I don't spend it. Um, yeah, tight with a dollar. Clear it. Clearly. And so Rona and Ava, they go back to, they go back to a uh, uh, little horse town. They go back to Ava's house or Ava's parents' house and uh, where her, her dad is like, um, no, I'm, I got the blickies. Like he, he. No, they're, they're at Ava's house. They're at Ava's house. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. At Ava's house. Yeah, yeah you're right. He put up um, a camera and he has some guns because <laughs> he's like, fuck that. Yeah. We're not playing these games no more. And so then, weirdly enough, like like the fucking Grim Reaper showing up, um, yet again, Dallas shows up at Jim and Rona's house. And Benji is there with um, with Ava. And he's like, see, I knew you, I knew you was fucking him, blah, 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 blah. And um, this is a scene where, you know, he's like, he just calls Rona a bitch. Like multiple times. I don't get it. I like how 
I like how people just don't lock their fucking doors. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. How was this nigga getting in the house? Get in there. Still in Atlanta. All right. Right. You walk around the <laughs> back? Hop <laughs> a fence? Like, no. One, get out of my house. Two, you're not going to call my wife a bitch. I'm going I'm to try to break your fucking jaw. Like, yo... Yo, this scene made me mad, yo. Like, legitimately mad. This nigga, you standing, you standing in jaw punching distance from this dude. He's saying this shit. You right there. He's got his head turned. All right, boom! I'm gonna knock your fucking head off. Like this nigga was also, like, yo, he, yo, that shit pisses me off so much, yo. I cannot believe a dude was standing there and let that happen. Yo. That's insane to me. Even if you can't He's fight, standing. right? Like, cause cause dudes know if they can fight or not, right? Like this hey, dude probably true. can't fight. Yo, this dude true. probably can't fight. Guess what? You got a fucking professional wrestler as a tag <laughs> team partner right there. <laughs> Yo, just fucking tag his big ass in. He already took him out. Yo, like, I just don't Nigga is standing. Yo, this nigga is standing two and a half feet from my, my fist. Yo, I would just. Yo, the, the level of hurt. You would feel of getting your equilibrium thrown the fuck off of me, punching you in the side of the head, would be that of legend, yo. Like I would hurt him, yo. I would try to, I would try to choke that nigga out, yo. Like that scene makes me so mad. Shut up, bitch. You're right here. You're right here saying this shit, yo. Like that's crazy to me. It's insane. Yeah. No. 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 Yeah, I'd have thrown your ass into another boudoir. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Come on, yo. That's crazy. And then. um, then uh, Dallas was like, look, I know you ain't talking shit because you was out there fucking that other girl. And I was like, oh, he's trying to blow your whole life up now. See, <laughs> this is why you don't cheat. You don't cheat because it's fucked up and you don't cheat. So somebody has anything to weaponize against you. See, mistake. And you should have punched him the first time because then he wouldn't have been able to talk. He yeah, his would have been broken. <laughs> yeah. He wouldn't have got that shit. Well, what about this? Yeah, you'd be dragging your fucking ass right out of the house. Get out of here. Um. You mean fucking around for years. And then now his wife is like, you said it was just one time. So now it's for years? And he's like, no, baby. No, it's, it, it, he's lying. It was like, okay, buddy. See, again, the second he started talking, if you just uppercutted him under his chin, all of this would have been done. But yeah, you a yeah. bitch, Jimmy. Just, just, a palm, just a palm strike right in the nose. You're done, <laughs> yo. <laughs> but again. Yeah. Again, Denzel Washington already showed you. You put your hand like this, and you hit that nigga in the throat, and now you can't breathe. <laughs> but now we're not having a conversation. We're not having a conversation. This nigga called his wife a bitch straight to his face. This shit is crazy. He got on a seersucker suit, so he can't do nothing. Come on, you get blood on that. Don't worry about it. Blood will come out. Um, and so Rona also, walks in the house, and she's sad. Rona walks in the house. She's sad. Here comes this dumb ass Ava who just cannot read the fucking room. And she's just like, you know what? You were having a real good time. Let's not let him ruin it. Let's not, let's not come down. <laughs> Level. Like, Ava, what the fuck? fuck? <laughs> like, get the, get the fuck out of my house, this show. Yo, these niggas are terrorizing our lives. <laughs> he won't stop coming here. Um, yeah, so they all hug it out. And um, then Rona basically uh, calls out Jim. And she's like, I thought you said it was over with this woman. His Dallas sign. He goes, oh, don't have it one time. I told you right then because I felt really guilty. Blah, 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 blah. And he's lying there. It was going on for months. And look, they never resolved this. Yeah, so this we don't know if he's telling the truth or not. This but nigga's lying. Probably wasn't. He's lying. <laughs> yeah, he's lying. Right. This, this, this debarge looking nigga is lying his ass off. Nah. Come on, yo. This nigga's wearing a seersucker suit on a weekday. He's lying to you, okay? Don't trust it, yo. He ain't going to a wedding, yo. He's not going to a wedding in the Deep South. Nah, this is a Tuesday. He's way too dressed up. Knock it off. He probably just came from that woman's house just now. Um. So, come to find out... Um, Next thing we find out that Clarence found out what happened with his wife in um in yeah. Dallas and he starts wilding. <laughs> he Love. said that motherfucker put his hands on him, I'm gonna go kill him. I was like, that's the that's the that's the correct response. Cause fuck hundred percent. Put your hands on my wife and my daughter. Nah, you gotta go, bro. Yeah, yeah go. No. Again, I gotta put you in the hospital at least. At least look at the very again, least. Again, the second I saw him 
in the line of fire, yo. We're not having a conversation. He's like, oh, you see if you're going to shoot me, old man. I'd be like, why are we talking like I'm not going to do this? I don't have to kill you. <laughs> but I don't have, look, but I don't have to save you either, right? Like this idea of like, you ain't going to do it. Yo, I would blow your fucking kneecaps into the next county, yo. Like knock it off. <laughs> I like I like how Clarence was so mad, right? I like how Clarence was so mad that he 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 races home to go into the house to get the guns, right? He was so mad that he didn't even use the driveway, but he wasn't mad enough to not to make sure that he didn't back into the 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 front of the house. Like, yo, what? It doesn't uh, maybe wait, it's for the shot. The he, wait a minute. <laughs> maybe it's for the shot. Maybe it's for the shot, right? I, I guess. But he backed up. Like he, he backed, backed up like, to the fucking like, lawn. Like, oh, I'm so mad. I'm so mad. I'm not even going to use the driveway. I'm just going to drive right up on the lawn because I I, I got to run in and get them guns. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, that's a long ass fucking driveway too, dog. Like, that's fucking hilarious. So he backed all the way up into that long ass driveway. I think it was like, <laughs> look, look, that's how mad he was. <laughs> mad and yet very cautious. Uh, that's hilarious. It's like it's like backing into a fucking parking spot. That's like, right, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, wait. He's like doing a three point turn. I'm pissed, but you know, like. I gotta do. Oh my god! Um, so yeah, he gets there. He he knocks on the door. Um, Dallas's mom, Linda, comes um, from around the wherever the fuck she was on the property. I may have smacked the shit out of her too. Fuck that! Oh no, no, you getting some too? No, you getting some too? Like no, look, wherever your kneecap is located at this point, guess what? You getting one too? Um, I probably put a couple bit of buckshot in her ass. Just, just, just for just for acting like a fool during the goddamn funeral. Um, Dallas comes out walking around like he's impervious of bullets. That feels like a mistake. Um, and um, like uh, uh, the pastor makes the terrible mistake. He's like shoots the ground like, oh, don't make me do it. That's a warning shot. Nigga, we're not having a warning shot conversation. <laughs> warning shot. Your left kneecap is done. Next shot, your right kneecap is done. What are we having a conversation about? And I'll put the next one in your chest. What the fuck? Like, again, this dude put his hands on your wife and your daughter. Why are we having warnings? That was the warning. I probably drove my truck over your mama, too. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> um, and so then this old man ain't paying attention. His head ain't on a swivel. The, the brothers sneak up on him, shoot him in the kneecap. See, they ain't give a warning shot. Young niggas know, right? Shot this nigga in the knee. And then they just stomped the shit out of him. And then they just left this bleeding preacher there. Who going to raise your eyes up in hell now, preacher? That's what she said to him. The mom's a real piece I, of honestly, shit. I honestly thought, dude, I, I thought uh, dad was going to die. Yeah, I like, thought like, kill this nigga. <laughs> yeah, like, like he he lucky he only got a uh, he he lucky he only got hobbled because uh, like this nigga killed his father, yo. Like, <laughs> yeah, they're crazy. Like, <laughs> they're big crazy. And what you gonna do? What, what you gonna do? What what? The the police force is inept. Well, I mean, you know, I need proof. <laughs> I need proof. Wow. Yeah, like, what the fuck? It? Yeah, now nah, that's crazy. Like, if you don't have somebody dead to rights with a smoking gun and a confession, the police, they ain't going to do shit. Even then. They're like, I don't know. Like, maybe. So, yeah, luckily they, they, they get they get um, the dad to a hospital. Um, so he survives, luckily. And um, Benji and Gene are there, and they're like, well, where's Ava? They're like, sorry, she, uh, she did a Batman smoke pellet. She's fucking out of here. And they can't find her, and turns out she went back home. Um, and so she starts texting um, Dallas, and she's like, look at all these pussy pics, nigga, of me with Benji. Huh? You like that? Oh, bitch ass. And then she calls him, and she was like, yeah, 
Uh, his big arms are indicative of his dick size, and it's great. That you weak. That you're the weakest nigga I've ever been with. He's like, you, you've only been with me and I'm the only with you. <laughs> what can I do? Sorry, uh, that's all I got. Um, and she was like, yeah, he was great. You suck. He's the best. Whatever. And you know, really hurting a, a, a man's ego. Like I fuck somebody is better than you. And then he was like, I'm about to drop 90 minutes to talk to this bitch. And uh, that's what he does. <laughs> Like, again, like, this is a fucking ninety-minute drive. Bro. What's, what's the that's how mad he was. You know? That's how that's how mad he was. He was like, "Yo, how dare you? I'm gonna stop by the feed store, get some more poison, and we'll be right there." And um, so they eventually uh, show Ava back at her place. She's drinking wine. She's feeling good. Probably had five milligrams of weed again. Um, and here comes uh, Dallas, and he's like. Yeah, uh, it was funny how we shot and beat up your dad. That was great. And I grabbed your mama, and he was like, I got this gun now. Just stop all that talking and shit. Um, and she's like, reading him the riot act, you disrespected our marriage, and you disrespected me. And and he's like, look, you ain't supposed to, like, you ain't supposed to um, disrespect me because you're the wife. And that's what a wife does. And then everybody on the internet who's a fucking child clapped. And they were like, yeah, that's right. That's how women are supposed to be act. Um, and uh, then he proceeds to like start beating on her because, of course. Um, <laughs> I think he w- the, the thing that causes him to, to give her uh, the second best uh, backhand um, of all time in the Tyler Perry movie. Perry. <laughs> uh, yeah, she basically says something like... Um, Basically, like how Benji is uh, is a better man than him, and how it was so good being with him, and he just could not take that shit, and so he backhanded her, and um, then he starts smacking her around, and and all this other shit, and and she basically was like, "Cool, you gave me the bruises that I needed," and then she called the police, and then she pulled out the fucking uh, shotgun and shot him in the chest like her dad should have done thirty minutes ago. Right. He said, you I like that was a cathartic like, fucking scene because this nigga was a supervillain. <laughs> it was like <right>. Thanos. <laughs> like, so yeah. Even Thanos was, had, was a little more sympathetic than this crazy ass nigga. Yeah, but he had background. They gave him a whole movie. Yeah, he did. <laughs> um, yeah, again, she did what her daddy could never do. She had the balls to do it. Uh, like a good Christian woman, she put him down with a shotgun. I appreciate that. <laughs> And then, you know, everything was fine after that. Credits. Oh, I'm Did, sorry. Pretty much. No, oh, no, no I'm sorry. I mean, the hospital. The hospital scene. Yeah, yeah, you can't you can't not uh you can't not talk about the hospital scene. Like this this is this is the scene where there might be a, a, a sequel. Cause this ain't over. This, this ain't over by damn right. sight. <laughs> I, I, so they I, I, they I killed my boy. My mother pulls up. Yeah, they 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 all go to the same hospital, uh, apparently, and um, they're like, "Hey, daddy, come on out!" And he's like, "I don't want this old uh, wheelchair. I don't need a wheelchair. Like, it's for liability reasons. Just it's like me, you got your he got your kneecap blown out. Yes, also, you do. Right. <laughs> right. Like, yeah, yeah, you do. As you had and." Had and this nigga, this nigga, uh, again, someone who did not grow throughout the movie, he's getting wheeled around and he sees this family, right? And he says, raised by the devil. Like, nigga, this is what started the whole fucking movie, yo. This is what, this is what started the whole fucking movie because there's a time and a place to chastise people, nigga. Like, he was hurt like, people hurt people, nigga. God damn. <laughs> like let these people like let these just let these people go to hell. This is one thing about Christianity and, and Christians that I will never understand, right? Like if you think that this shit is so bad, let them go to hell. There's more room up in heaven for us. <laughs> like what are you real? who cares? Who cares if gay people want to do their own thing? If you think they're going to hell, then let them go to hell. Who cares? Yeah, hell, uh, uh, heaven's got to be pretty crowded. They're trying, to, they're trying to save your souls. They're trying to save their nah, souls by nah, like, no, nah. 
Fuck all that. Judging them, which is something you're not supposed to do. Isn't that something you're not supposed to do when fucking judging? Everybody judges. Judges. Everybody, everybody judges. Yes, everybody. lest ye be judged, whoever the fuck not saying, whatever. Everybody, 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 everybody judges. You're not supposed everybody. to, right? Hmm. White, quite, white, there are people who I judge people. There are the people. That's, that there really, are people not, who quite literally get paid to do it. So no, everyone <laughs> judges everybody. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I don't know. Judging is pretty awesome. Makes me feel better about myself. Um. So yeah. So the mom is like, "You killed my boy. This ain't over." And um, Ava was like, "Oh, it's over." You better pray it's not fucking. You better pray it's over. Stop pushing good people too far. Shoot your ass. And then she she should have been like, <laughs> right. <laughs> Shut up, bitch. <laughs> like, okay, well, <laughs> Wait, you right. I guess you I did learn some bullet in my fucking child's chest. You got you right. Yeah, and you then they it. they the the family uh, walks off triumphantly as they know. Um, that Ava will lead them into uh, greener pastures because she is willing to murder people with shotguns. So that's cool. <laughs> so there you go. Man, this, yeah. she fucking killed a nigga. Like, yeah. Uh, Self defense, but you know. Hey, I'm not mad at it. in the movie. Yeah, hey, look, he was a supervillain. So he had to go. He had, to go. had I, to go. I mean, I would have preferred a little bit more of a, a struggle fight. Like, we've seen some pretty good fights at the end of these, like, the these, these sort of like, crazy hand that rocks the cradle type movies and everything else, black movies. Um, the fight wasn't amazing. It did have the second best uh, backhand of all time. Um, obviously, that one goes to, was it the family that prays? The you, family that prays. He backhanded her over the fucking counter. <laughs> you know, that oh, was, Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's like, that was a wild boy. <laughs> like, he's be doing, again, he's be doing he might have grown up seeing that, which is, again, the backhand is the most disrespectful of all slaps. It really is. Um, so that is it for us. Uh, longer than I thought episode, but this movie was so ridiculous. It was so goddamn ridiculous. So hopefully no more shitty uh, movies have come out that we are putting our reviews out based on the algorithm so we can actually do a movie that has uh, a level of real substance. So we will see you guys next week with another preview episode. See you. You're watching the Black on Black Cinema YouTube channel. Make sure you check out our full reviews of black movies, past and present. And every other week we do a preview episode where we talk about a random topic that affects the black community.